Well, John's not quite here yet, but uh, we are going to start the stream. And I did bring up the panel, as Thomas has suggested. Welcome to Jepnerdy, and I hope everyone's doing well tonight. And let's go ahead and bring up everybody on the panel. Why don't we? So I want to welcome Patrick, Mercer, Omnicast, and Mikey Sues 4. Welcome, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome, Jeff. My welcome. arm is raised in greeting. Yes. So thank you, Welcome everyone, for joining us. Today. And thank you for uh, being patient with us as we go through these technical difficulties. John is trying to restart his router modem, hoping that will help his connection. He's been having some issues with his audio and video. And it looks like Mercer has something he wants to show us. So let's bring that up. Very nice. Jeff has spoken. <laughs> it's Quill from The Mandalorian. I oh, just Oh, okay. Aha. Love this guy. Wow. Oh, that cool. Isn't that cool? Is he a pilot? Is he a pilot? No, he just, he just has the goggles because he looks awesome with them. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it has started. Even though Thomas said to start the stream, now he's saying Jeff has taken over. The guy from the Mandalorian that would be like you know, the I have spoken. <laughs> you know the I have spoken guy. Brad Wolf says, "Oh no, wild librarian on the loose." Welcome, Brad Wolf. Man. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's never stops. You, you know, this is, the, this is the second time I have actually uh, started a stream. Yeah. Out of 88 yeah. episodes, this is the second time that you've started. Well, it. no, the other one was not on this channel. Oh, uh, we, okay. we, we played a little joke on people one night mm -hmm. on Salty Trekkers channel. Okay. So, and, yeah. and I think I Brother actually, Jay is panicking, Jeff. That. Yeah, and I think Brother Jay is panicking. You say Welcome, no game tonight? Welcome, Jay. Uh, we are still planning to play Jep Nerdy tonight, Jay. So if you want to uh, click the link to come up, uh, go ahead and yeah. do that. Um John's having some connection issues, so hopefully he'll be back soon. He's working on the problem. But as everyone yeah. can hear, Mikey doesn't have connection issues. Just so he, for yeah, I don't. I, yeah. We're, okay, we're in a mirror universe. Okay, this is why I don't have issues. <laughs> he sounds crystal clear. <laughs> I said and John was in and out. <laughs> Tonight is reverse night. Reverse <laughs> to the bathroom. <laughs> reverse night. That's what I said. <laughs> and welcome, Mr. T. Hello, in T. the chat, and let's see, who else do we have here? We have a lot of people up on the panel in the yeah. chat as well. Patrick, Omnicast, Mikey yes. Sue's in the chat. Uh, I saw Brad Wolf in the chat earlier. Mm -hmm. Burrow Prey yeah. 5 was here on the panel, but he uh, he had to leave. So we wish uh, Bert a good evening. Uh, uh, let's see, there's Mr. T. Brad, Brad Wolf's here. Welcome, sir. And who else do we have? Thomas. Thomas, yes. Thomas, Thomas is yes. here. I mean, he's heckling me. I already mentioned him. Hi, Thomas. Well, before, but well, you're he welcome has a here, name Thomas. How are you, Thomas? So, Jeff, if you reintroduce Thomas from now, you just call him Thomas Rigged Potts. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> That's right. today, today is Thomas Andy Perkis' birthday. Whose birthday? We, we didn't hear you. Andy Circus, the guy that played Gollum, and he played uh, in the man. Uh, oh, Andy, Andy Circus. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He's a good actor. Today's his birthday. Yeah. He played Alfred the Black. Yeah. He played and Alfred no, Jay, the Black. I have not knocked off <laughs> John. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jay, you oh, now. I, I wanted to that. entertain you all, so I brought everybody up and started the stream. There we go. Wasn't that nice of me? That was very that nice was of you. That was very nice of him. How old is Andy Serkis? Uh, Give the Serkis. audience what they want. He's 60 exactly. years old. How old? 60. Oh, 60. Oh, wow. Oh, and don't forget, he played uh, uh, he Planet of the Apes, the reboot. Yeah. He was... Uh, Caesar. Come on, Jay. Get up here. My favorite character yeah. he played was yeah, was in Andor. Oh, yeah. Okay. T. Dowd, why don't you come on up? Yeah. The more the merrier. More the merrier. Yeah, let's have a party, man. Very can, T. 
You scare yeah. me, Mikey, not, not having connection issues. You scared me. <laughs> Did I scare you? Well, you know what? In the chat, they were saying it's a curse. And well, I you definitely passed it on. Right? Yeah, you passed it on. Indeed. Yeah. And I passed happy, it on. Yeah. Happy birthday, Salty. Yeah, happy birthday, Salty. Oh, and um, while we're talking about other people, um, we just want to mention our condolences to Life with Matthew. His brother passed away overnight. Oh, mm. no. I'm sorry. So our thoughts and prayers go out to him and his family. Right. So, for obvious reasons, you guys probably won't do the Babylon 5 then. Sure. I'm and thinking we won't. Uh uh, Matthew did post something this morning saying uh, that he doesn't know if we'll have it or not. He doesn't know the, the scheduling of things at the moment. So uh, he'll let us know if he's ready to do that and if he's able to do that. Um, and thank you, Jay. Yeah, thank you, Jay. Uh, Jay also mentioned that John Trimble, I think that's Ejo Trimble or whatever his first name was, he passed away too. Yeah. Oh, the guy from the Star Trek writing letter letter writing campaign? That's yeah. him. Yeah. He passed away too. Oh, by the way, but something pleasant. Uh, you guys all know yesterday was me and Suzanne's eighth wedding anniversary. We celebrated oh, wow. our eighth wedding Congratulations. anniversary. Congratulations. That's great. Thank you. Happy, Gross. happy belated anniversary. Yeah. That's really no, thank great. you guys. Yeah, it was fun. Hmm. Or is that belated happy anniversary? I guess it's belated uh, happy. Belated, belated happy anniversary is funny, Jeff. Yeah. I want to make sure funny. I get my grammar correct. There are grammar those please. correcting in the comment section. Yes. Get your part of speech. Yeah. Parts of speech correct, right? Indeed. Subject, verb, predicate. Okay, got it. We're good. <laughs> Did well, I get it right, Mr. T? <laughs> you're the expert. You're the expert here. He is. He's the expert on. Uh, so is it happy? Um, Belated anniversary, or is it belated happy anniversary? Wait, which way would you it's, say it's it? It's happy See, belated I anniversary. It's no, it's I, happy no, belated anniversary. Yeah. I think it's the other way around because if you have a, a belated anniversary, then the anniversary is late, not the wish of happiness. Because they always say happy Thank belated you. birthday, right? That's the right way to say that. Um, no, Thank I you. Right? The other way around. Your 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 oh, happy really? wishes are late, so it's belated happy. Hmm. Birthday. It is it is belated. Yeah, Jeff is right because when you say birthday for someone, it's belated birthday or belated happy birthday. If Jeff you say happy see. belated birthday, then the birthday is late. But Jeff is almost as smart as Michael Burnham. I before E except oh, after God. C. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that's almost that's two S T D no it's a smash series. It's doing really wow. good right now in the ratings. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, let's smash it. <laughs> yeah, let's and smash it. it. <laughs> it's a smash it. Welcome, Planet X. Hello, Planet X. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us this evening. Yeah, that used to be Pluto. <laughs> no, wasn't wasn't Planet X after Pluto? Like that was the one. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. Okay. okay. I don't. I don't Peter know. Fedna. Yeah, they it can't figure the it same out. It was in the same zip code of the galaxy. <laughs> and Pluto's not even a planet anymore, is it? They took it away. Again, right, it's not even considered that yeah. now. That's yeah. correct. It, That's crazy. I still consider planet. it a planet. There's know. only a planet. Quite <laughs> <laughs> yeah. find the guy the, that, that, the that, that, that. is still the leader of the Decepticons for about a minute. Thomas says he would not insult me as badly as you just did, Mercer. Indeed. Uh, right, Sorry, the planet man. is called it in the beer. I, 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 yes. I really <laughs> tried to get you to laugh. I'm sorry. Nibiru. Nibiru. Yeah. That's, that's right, Nibiru. I've that's been trying right. to watch Strange New Worlds lately, but it's hard. Yeah, it's difficult, all right. So t Dow is saying oh. Jeff is correct. So what does that mean, Jeff um, is correct? So you're saying belated happy anniversary? Is that the correct? Okay. Well. Yeah, he's correct. Hmm. Um, yeah, your 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 happy wishes are belated, not the birthday is related. Hey Jeff, so do you mind if I? Happy. Birthday is. Uh, I'm sorry, Jeff. Do you mind if I quote Jay Aldridge's thing? Do you mind if I? No, because that's from Yeehaw. Okay. 
Where, oh, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and thought I found true love. You met another rep. You were gone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I hope we don't get a copyright strike for you, John. I hope not. I I, I see John is in the back. We're waiting to see. There he is. John. Uh, Welcome welcome back, John. Hello. You sound clear. You're back. You you did sound clear. He's back. He's alive. John, keep saying things. Well, things. hopefully that did the trick. Oh, yeah. He's much better. Yes. Yes. Uh, That's way better. Yes. You're back. It's worth the wait. It was worth Indeed. the wait. I agree completely. You can't sound worse than Mikey, okay, at any point. Just stop the show, <laughs> pull the plug, end it all. It's not happening. Now, CJ, I did not off John. <laughs> Do you want to retract your statement? Usual false accusations I see in my app. Yes, yes. Yes, indeed. Indeed. So a reboot did make it all good. Yay! Like yep. Yay! <laughs> That's terrific. Yay! All right. So, John, shall we play Jeopardy? I yes. think that's a good idea. All right. Um, Fantastic. I, is it now? Wow. Okay. Um, I believe Patrick Mercer and Omni were first. Who was our champion last week? Yeah, Omni is our returning champion. Okay. okay. Omni is returning champion. Oh, yeah. Pepsi, real quick. Start the game. Oops. <laughs> and for Mr. VP, this is going to be round number one. We had a delay. There we go. So you're well in And uh, Steven is so, in the background. Steven's in the background, uh, too. So, Mikey, I'm going to put you backstage. Uh, okay. All right, and we'll get you in the next game. Sounds good. All right. And I'm going to win. Yeah, right. Let's bring up the board here. See if the camera actually works. Hey, you may you may want to turn on your camera. It does. Yay. <laughs> ah, I feel better. See the beard. It's calming. Yes, we have to have we have to have the beard. Yes. Yes. All right. I think we've had enough introductions, unless you want to say something, John, before we get going. No, I think we, we're good to go. All right. So, gentlemen, are you ready to play? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Let's play Jepnerdy. <laughs> oh, you're right. I'm always right. I can fix that. I know how to do this. I can do this. I'm going to walk away and eat from wet and red. The first category is full spread from <laughs> TOS and TNG. In this case, you're going to be identifying an alien species as being subject to a full spread of torpedoes. Oh. Uh oh. The evil creators of Discovery. Kirk, fill in the blank. Dude, you sound so much better, man. You do. You do. Right. TOS movie characters is our visual category. Galaxy class references in TNG. I'm going to be asking you to identify the episode. Then Voyager actors. Now, in this particular category, I'm going to be providing a character. I want you to tell me who played them. Still working on the name. So, uh, let's see, Patrick. So, Omnicast, uh, you get to go first, my friend. I prefer numbered designations anyway, being a Borg. And <laughs> do all. you? So, that's fine. <laughs> One of three will do fine. Uh, <laughs> let's do. Uh, oh. Something happened to the layout. Did it? Oh, it did. Uh, I clicked the wrong button. Ah, that's better. 
<laughs> one of three, two of three, and three of three. It's perfect. <laughs> that, that would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> More efficient. Omnicast? You get to Let's go do first. Galaxy Class references and TNG for 500. Well, you know, they send you Galaxy Class boys out here to the far reaches. Me, I'm just hauling my butt back and forth between star bases. You want the episode? You want what, what exactly? Yeah, the episode. Yes. Would be. I know it, but I don't want to risk it. Pass. Patrick. Uh, this. It's not coming to me. Pass. Mercer. You said you wanted the episode or the character. The episode. Um, I don't really know this. Um, I'm gonna pass, but I, I'm gonna. It's on natural selection, Pe right? Pegasus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess the Pegasus, but it not doesn't... quite. Tin Man. Tin Man. Oh, Tin that's Man. right. Mm -hmm. Dude, these are awesome questions already. That was Captain DeSoto, right? Indeed, it was. Okay. See, I You'll notice the names. Wrong. You'll notice the names are correct now. Patrick, it is your turn. Uh, let's try. Let's try a Voyager actor for four hundred. Arturus. Uh, uh. Um, that would of course be. Oh, what was his name? Uh, who is Ray White? That's correct. Love that episode. Are these anagrams? No, they're not anagrams. No, they are not anagrams. <laughs> okay. Um, All right, Mercer. Let's try TOS movie characters for 500, please. Oh, okay. Well, who is... Um, what's his name? I don't remember his name. Pass. Kill me. Omnicast. Pass. Patrick. I don't even recognize you. They said face. it once. Say B or something. No, pass. I'm not going to try right. it. I thought you passed already and I just was. His name was Jetta, and yes, they said it one time. They said it once. Wow. <laughs> On the screen, please, Jetta. You know, with uh, BB Besh's uh, mm -hmm. awesome voice. Omnicast, we're back mm -hmm. to you. Let's do Galaxy Class references for 400. It's beginning to make me think we should have run these galaxy glass ships across a few more drawing boards before we built one. What is Contagion? That is correct. I love that episode. That's a good episode. That's Barley, right? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Donald, see you. <laughs> Except for the fact they're running around the neutral zone for violating treaty. Well, you're the thing. I, I, happen to think, I happen to think that that particular section of the neutral zone is kind of like like a different area than where most of the conflicts are. It's kind of like the, the border between Canada and the United States, a little more flexible. You know in other I mean? episodes, it's it's a hard border. Right. You know, but you I'm do saying, not I mean, cross. But, the, but I'm saying that's the whole thing, is that there there's different there's more than one type of border line between the Romulans and the Federation. And they it this just happens to be like the prime real estate is on those episodes that you're talking about. But this is more like oh Canada and the United States kind of oh, thing. Oh Canada. <laughs> Patrick, <laughs> it is your turn. Uh point your access for three hundred. Seska. Uh, that, of course, is uh, who is Martha Hackett. That's correct. Yeah, lovely character. I knew that one, even though I don't like Voyager. <laughs> she also played a Romulan, dude. Yep. Yes, she did. Sir. Mercer, it's your turn. I'll, I'll get the TOS this time with 400. Hopefully. Oh, I knew you were going to ask this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Um, can I name one of the guys in the background? 
<laughs> no. You could, but you were getting points for it. <laughs> okay, pass. Omni. Um, I don't remember his name. Pass. Patrick. Uh, his uh, name. Oh, what was it again? Come on. You gotta love this pastel. Who, who is Sonak? Very good. Whew, just in time. Good job, Patrick. <laughs> Omni. You need to pull him out of the uh, out of the transporter buffer. <laughs> Let's do void directors Ooh. for five. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> A bad uh, pass, Patrick. Oh, this one I don't know. Pass. Did you say pass? Yeah, I said pass. Mercer. Pass, because I've never heard of that character. <laughs> Which episode was this on? Uh, John Fleck. That was from the episode Alice. Okay. Oh, oh, that's right. The traitor. Us. Yeah. John Fleck is awesome. John Fleck is like the MVP of villains. And Patrick, you got the lead and control. Ooh, my turn again. Mm, let's try Galaxy Class Reference for 300. If the matter and antimatter tanks on a Galaxy Class starship are nine tenths depleted, calculate the intermix ratio necessary to reach a star base. 100 light years away at warp factor 8. <laughs> no, this uh, game is not for nerds. <laughs> at first, I thought that the you Galaxy really wanted West. me to calculate the warp factor. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Um, Isn't the intermix ratio always one? Oh, what was that? Uh, uh, What's proofing ground? That is incorrect. Uh, Mercer. Pass. Omnicast. Uh, is the episode name? Yes, for the episode name. Uh, pass. It's the one with Wesley Crusher, Coming of Age. Oh, coming of Age, age. yeah. Of coming of Age. That it great is. season one episode, Coming of yeah. Age. Exactly. I always skip season one. Always be one, one, one. Well, according to that episode, I, I thought there was different ratios, but... They kind of wrote it in the book there, on the screen. Thomas, it was not a math question. We were looking for the episode title. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try uh, TOS movie characters. For how much? For three hundred. Oh, who is uh, Captain Claw? Walk, 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 walk. When he starts going. Yeah. Indeed. He's, I'm well trying to done. think what he said. He was trying to give the coordinates for zero, zero, zero something. It was just so hilarious. Omni. Uh, let's do Galaxy Class for two. Theoretical propulsion logs, Federation Starship Enterprise, and Galaxy Class. Heading, subspace, author, Leah Brahms. I'm sorry, is this the, uh, the episode name again, right? Yes. What is Booby Trap? That is correct. <laughs> yep. Well, I was thinking of the other Leah Roms episode, but that was the, the creepy one. You were thinking of the creepy <laughs> yes, one. Yes, I was thinking, thinking of the, of the gal one. <laughs> Galaxy's Child. Yeah. <laughs> Not uh, sure. It's pretty creepy. Let's <laughs> do uh, Four Jacks or two. Mrs. Q. Oh, right. Um, who is Susie Plaque, son? That's correct. Susie. Bring me my Susie. I thought it was Mercer. Still, like, done. I'm going to go TOS movie characters for 200, please, Alex. Oh, who is Captain Esteban, the best captain by the book? <laughs> for a by the book answer, indeed. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> JT, stand by for evasive Esteban. <laughs> Omni. He, he like would that. never order a full spread of anything. <laughs> uh, two galaxy class for one hundred. 
Meanwhile, I am becoming better acquainted with my new command as the Galaxy Class USS Enterprise. What is Farpoint at Encounter? I'm sorry, Encounter at Farpoint. Well, the first one was correct, but we'll <laughs> in honor of uh, let's have you know. Right, you did write it. You did yeah. write it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was right. Matthew, you you were right. Yes, I was right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Game is tightening up. Patrick, it is your turn. Uh, oh well, let's uh, clear out void directors. Neelix. Who is Ethan Phillips? That's right. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, so Mercer. With, the, with uh, full spread, what are we naming? This John. species. John? Sorry? Go. What are we naming the full spread categories? In the full spread category, I'm going to give you the name of an episode. And I want you to tell me uh, what alien race is, has a ship or other object having torpedoes launched at it in that episode. Okay. And what is Kirk fill in the blank? We just we, we were just uh, finishing the quote or something? Yeah, you're filling in the missing word from a quote. Okay. I'll do uh, Kirk for 300. All right, Mercer. You found the Daily Double. You have 1,000 points. And you have 1,000... 100 points behind the leader. 300. 300. Okay. Death, destruction, disease, or that's what blank is all about, Anon. That's what makes it a thing to be avoided. Hmm. I'm going to just guess what is danger because I don't know. I'm afraid that is incorrect. Yeah. Great war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taste of Armageddon. Uh, right, sorry about that, Mercer. But these are, no, these are awesome questions. I, I, uh, I just like, I just want to like worship the questions, it's like you know, to give it incredible. <laughs> Can I do that? Um. I suppose. <laughs> oh, no. Omnicast, it's your turn. Yeah, uh, full spread. 500. A full, full spread. <laughs> the nth degree. So you're asking what they were firing at? Yeah, what species were they firing torpedoes at? It was technically the Cytherian probe. Very good. What is? And they made the shield strong enough to do it. <laughs> yeah. Well Fogel done, Omni. In. You've taken the lead, Omni. Very good. Patrick, it's your turn. Uh, full spread, 400. Parallels. Ooh. Mm. Ash. Mercer. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to be wrong, but who are the Borg? That is incorrect. I'm me. Who are the Cardassians? You got it. Mm. Did not remember that. What what season was that episode? Uh, season 7. Ah, what? season 7. I'm I'm only at 5 this uh, this run around. No, 300, no wonder. Please. <laughs> 300, please. Ooh, oh, 300, okay. <laughs> Journey to Babel. That was the... I knew you were going to have to... I knew you were going to have to... Where the Orion? Did you repeat that? Where the Orion? That's correct. If it wasn't the Andorians, even though they wanted to make it look like it was the Andorians. And, uh, some weird, some weird plot. Space hippies deserve full spread. <laughs> they do. Journey to Babel is a fantastic episode. Oh, absolutely. Great. That's a great yes. one. Add Thomas, I'm happy for anyone that wins. 
love to. Omni, it is your turn. Fake news. Uh, let's do Kirk fill in the blank blank for 500. The blank blank. The blank blank. Am I doing the right thing, Bones? Once I said man rose above a blank by bowing. I will not kill today. Pass. Patrick. Uh, no freaking idea. Pass. Mercer. <laughs> I'm going to pass as well because I, I don't want to lose my points. Was it primitiveness? primitiveness. I was Dude, these violence. are awesome questions. I just yeah. want to worship these questions. These are great. Well, that might be going a bit far, but thank you. <laughs> Patrick, it's your turn. Let's try uh, fill in the blank for 400. Mankind has no need for blank. We find the one quite adequate. Oh. What was uh need for one card? <laughs> no, no idea of that. First, sir. What are gods? That's correct. Oh. <laughs> Completely overthinking it. Well done, Mercer. Thanks. There, there was a good clue in that. Uh, Mercer. Yeah. Your turn. I'll try uh, full spread for 200, please, Alex. Alon of Troyes. Um, well, I'm going to say, uh, what are Klingons? That's correct. Nice. You That'd know, be I a good say. thing to say. Yeah, thank you. Indeed. The only good thing and to say. Game is tightening up again. Omnicast, <laughs> it's your turn. Full spread, 100, please. Got it. For a silence has lease in illusory form. Uh, what is a Romulan warbird? That's correct. No, no, no. What is a very cheesily rendered Romulan warbird? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Probably the worst-looking <laughs> Romulan warbird in the history of Star Trek. <laughs> well, it was fake, after all. <laughs> That's true. Patrick, it is your turn. Movie characters for 100. TOS. Although I will say one thing. Who is uh, Carol Marcus? That's correct. Although I will give them credit in the scene, real quick, where they beam Riker beams into the Yamato illusion, you mm -hmm. see his shadow transport sparkle as well as him. That was an awesome special effect. Never noticed that. When you watch it, look for that. The shadow materializes just like he is. It's awesome. Uh, okay. 200, please. Yes, sir. You got it. In every blank, there's one man with a vision. Uh, what is revolution? You got it. Well done. Indeed. Revolution calling. Revolution calling. Revol <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, Omni, you get the last clue. Kirk, fill in the blank for 100. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Of all the souls I have encountered in my travels, this was the most. What is human? That's correct. Dude, by the way, I was at Target tonight and they had an Admiral Kirk action figure on here. Did you buy it? No, I didn't. But they had Why Colin not? Kirk and Spock. Because right now I'm short on cash. It's not going to be there next time you go there. You know that, right? Well, then so. they had Spock. They had It was all from Star Trek 2. They had Khan, Spock, and Admiral Kirk. Each 10 bucks each. Oh, wow. I might Easily get 30 bucks that I would have spent. Hmm. What's that? But I'm trying to pay off my car right now, so I, I that's can't. Important. Ooh, that's important. That is important. Yeah. Yeah, Which I will do with off. my car <laughs> next month. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm going to be done paying mine off hopefully within the next month. I'm that Great. close. Oh, I'm giving very, every very good. cash I can. I'm very close. And that's why I didn't buy the figure, because I'm just like every little thing I get, like I, I'm just counting down the dollars. Oh, you're 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 being very smart about it, Mercer. All right. The Cosmo Buzz link is in the private chat. And consider how much you would like to wager. Congrats to you, by the way. 
with this category. Constitution. <laughs> And I forgot to mute Chaos Cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Omni. No problem. I woke you up there. <laughs> you did. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Don't forget to carry the one, uh, Omni. Yeah, congrats. Well, it's, 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 it's not long division. I mean, it's pretty simple to do the math, right? <laughs> Square root of pi, carry I the one. It, I screwed it up back then, so you did. You added an extra hundred, I think it was, right? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have, Omni, have you put in your? No, I haven't. Just give me okay. one second, please. Okay. No pressure, Omni. No, I got it. Sorry, my Cosmo Buzz was. Buzzing. There we go. <laughs> it was buzzing. It was okay. flickering in and out. I couldn't, yeah, couldn't get to it. It's flaky on this uh, browser. Yeah, I'm not sure why you have trouble with it. Yeah. All right, let's clear your entry boxes and reveal our clue. The first use of the term Constitution class in dialogue was in this episode. Players, you have 30 seconds. Kapla! your responses into the game board shall we yeah john i'm so glad you rebooted your modem because you haven't had a problem since i'm glad yeah. to hear yeah your audio has been perfect. perfect let's find out who our winner is shall we all right mercer you had 2100 points entering final jeopardy what was your response to the clue is the ultimate computer you have spoken well, unfortunately that is incorrect i'm sorry to I hear that uh, misspoken my best guess. <laughs> how much was your wager five points and it was a partridge in a pear tree wasn't it yes <laughs> that takes you down to 2095 points that was maybe a good a smart bet Patrick, you had 2,300 points, and what was your response? It is a good game. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was not the episode I was looking for. You. <laughs> that might have been an interesting episode, too. How much was Oof. your wager? 2,299 points, taking down to one solitary point. Yep. Omnicast, you had the lead at 3,200 points. What was your reply? Well, you also said ultimate computer. Yes, I was also thinking that. A little bit tricky. The correct response was actually the naked now. Oh. Yeah. Wow, Earlier know. on. Wow. How much did you wager? 1,401 points, taking you down to 1,799 points. And our winner today is Mercer. Mercer. Nice job, Mercer. Well, thank well you. Done. Well, Excellent. I didn't, think I didn't think I'd win that one. I was just like toasting for most of it. No, you did great. You bet smartly in final. That was really good, Indeed. man. You bet smartly. Well done. <laughs> you choose wisely. <laughs> and Thomas, <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> Isn't it quite an irony? As usual. Was, I find it very ironic that the term was never actually used in TOS. <laughs> Yeah, that um, I remembered. What's the episode name of T and G? Well, they were just called Thomas. starships, weren't they? But I thought the ultimate computer. They did say the class of ship, but I guess I was wrong. And and Mercer thought the same thing. So I don't know. Yeah, that was interesting. 
but again, so congratulations, nice Mercer. Thank you. That I mostly skip. So, yeah, well done. So, you get to play the new persons. Yeah. I'll try my best. <laughs> Normal. There's wow, normal. There and I'll guess uh, we'll see you uh, later. Why are you always sticking my face in front of that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Because we love well, him. Thank you, Omni. Thank you, Patrick, for playing. Thank yep. you, guys. Yes, great. thank you. If you need players, we'll be hanging out. Yep. Thanks. Okay. All right, normal. Go now. I got to play again. <laughs> hey, Steve. Hello. Steve. Mr. Hey, guess what's canon? Steve, guess what's canon? The Enterprise Show. <laughs> 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 Um, before we get too far, how's my audio? Do I need to turn down the mic game? Is there any echo or what's the You're story? fine. Yeah, you sound yeah, fine to me. Yeah, you sound good to me, Steve. That's good. And also, uh, there's a couple of apologies I need to make, if I may, before we carry on. Um, Go ahead. I, we forgive I you about to... your views on Enterprise. Oh, I wasn't going to apologize for that. I mean, I don't mean to. <laughs> uh, uh, nothing to apologize for in regards to that at all. Um, but um, I do apologize to Mikey because I, I promised you um, that I would attend your celebration YouTube on your channel but when I made that promise, I wasn't aware that my nephew's birthday party was booked for the same day. Oh, so it's I, totally fine, I, Steve. It's totally fine. I know that your nephew had his birthday and everything. I would never ask for you to put me before your family. And and that's uh, that was important to you. And I understood, but I was very glad that you actually came and you said hello. So thank you. Yeah, I appreciate right. that. And, that and the, the thought—it's the thought that counted, Steve, and then yeah. and that's important. So I hope you had a great show and it went well. Oh, it turned out really well, actually, and uh, I was very. Yeah. And by the way, I want to thank uh, Professor Brainy Specs for coming on my uh, stream on uh, the Friday before uh, Topic Time Nine, and Omnicast and everybody that was there, and uh, that was fun too. I mean, we it had was a, good a fun time. show. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's always and good when I don't drop out. <laughs> hey, it's you're not doing that anymore. Like, oh, that's that's, no, that's a good like, thing. Yeah, that's a great thing. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Good luck, and, and Thomas. All the games are ran fairly. They're all run fairly. I don't know. Yes, yes. It's, it's Thomas is my that, nickname. I told you earlier. It's that, it's oh, what, what was the nickname? I I called him Thomas Raped Potts. Yeah, that does sound right. I'm sorry, Mr. Vice President. You were saying I didn't mean to interrupt. That's right. That's right. I, I was gonna say um because I mean, Patrick said oh sorry, not Patrick Bradwolf said hello to me um on the in the YouTube comments. I was gonna say hi back to him. And also I was gonna say it's a shame that um because we're talking about Thomas calling it Brett, that, that it was the only fair game. It's a shame that Bunny has such a hold on Thomas. It really is. You yeah, it really is sad that uh, yeah. the Bunny has you such a hold to, on Thomas. Yeah, Try to help to Thomas, break, but... Yeah, you need to break free of the Bunny cult, um, Thomas. Thomas. We're, we're here waiting for you when you're ready. Well, we're um, here to help. Yeah, we'll help you through the process. We'll go you have to take that first step. Yeah. Yes, indeed. indeed. Um, the, 
I, I was going to do two apologies. The other verbal apology is um, I missed last week's gym nitty because on Saturday night, my time, uh, which was the day that I had my nephew's birthday party, later that night, my router suddenly died. So I had no internet at all for a few days until mm. I got the a replacement. I'm renting a replacement from my ISP. So, but I couldn't even get oh. on I- anywhere online to tell people what happened. So, so yeah. As it ter- as it turned out, we didn't have the show last week. Oh, that's right. Patrick was telling me when I spoke to him um, yesterday, but I'd forgotten that already. So, um, yeah, and I I want to thank John and Jeff to. Uh, getting us that uh, information about John. I'm sorry you had a last minute thing. I, I hope it turned out okay. No, it was fine. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, Thomas, you're not dumb. Dumbness <laughs> has nothing to do with it. You're a smart guy. But anybody, anybody going, can be brainwashed. I'm just going to imagine sure. that John had a huge party with a lot of hot chicks and uh, no. Taggers. No. <laughs> No. I mean, he didn't think that way, Mercer. I don't you know. know what he actually did, but I'm just imagining that he was the coolest guy in town. I had a party like that when I was in high school. Everybody came over to my house. People I didn't even know came over when oh, I Oh, wow. Uh, I'm a little bit jealous, Mercer. I know it's bad to be jealous, but I was never that popular in high school. I was not Is either. Thing. Yeah. Patrick, I thought he was swimming oh. with whales, like humpback people. <laughs> All right. I thought he was swimming with whales. <laughs> anyway. Hey, gentlemen, I am ready to play. I I am ready. Well, I don't know if my mind's ready, but I know I'm ready. <laughs> well, I think we should get ready. started. I think we should yeah, get started. Yeah. All right. So so let's play Jep Nerdy. All right, here we go. I love those effects. Those effects are so cool. Glad I can see them now. (laughs) That helps. It does. I heard an echo from somewhere. I don't know. Now we have a. First category, full spread from DS9 and the vice president's favorite show, Enterprise. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm so glad to hear that, Mr. Vice President. <laughs> this show that life is too short to watch. Picard, fill in the blank. Mm. Visual category is about TNG movie characters. Oh, cool, cool. Didn't see that one coming at all. Mm. Galaxy class references in DS9 and Voyager. I'll be asking you to identify the episode. And finally, <laughs> another one I'm sure the pre- vice president will enjoy Enterprise Actors. Oh, oh. yay. Fantastic. You do, you do this on Putin's don't you, John? <laughs> I mean, it's a great show. I have to include questions from it. Indeed. But, but, Indeed. But you, you anticipate me being in time for the second round, so you, you put them in the room. <laughs> I never wow. Know you that round. Wow. Wow. Sometimes you play the third round, Mr. VP. Yeah. It's, it's true. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It's all good. <laughs> all right, Mercer, you're the returning champion. You get to go first. Uh, I'll try TNG movie characters for 300. Oh, it's um. No, it's not her. Um, give me a moment to think. I just watched this movie. What's her name? It's Batgirl, but I can't think of her name. Dina Mayer. Can I name? Give me the actor, Dina Mayer. I'm gonna pass. Mikey. Hmm. Gonna, gonna, uh, shoot. No, I'm not getting it. I'm sorry. Pass. 
Mr. VP. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, as a joke answer, I'm going to say very sexy Romulan officer. <laughs> <laughs> In this case, we're that looking for Sinatra. Commander Sinatra. Sinatra. Yeah. That was That's the character we were doing before. It's yeah. Dina Mayer from uh, the Dragonheart, and, and she, uh, she could almost, almost make me defeat. Okay. Well, Thomas, wow. Thomas, uh, when Omni does it, he's being sarcastic. <laughs> he doesn't actually mean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mikey Sue's oh, four. It is your turn. Okay, well, let's start with TNG movie characters for 100. Ah, who is Zephyrin Cochran? That's correct. Mikey's on the Mikey. board. You know, James Caldwell did a great job with that. Mr. Vice President. Um, I'm going to go with... TNG movie characters as well for 200, please. Um, who is Antonia? That's correct. Yay. Kirk's uh -huh. wife. <laughs> Although I really wish they had Edith Keeler in that movie instead of Antonia. I'll try 400 for the same category. Oh, who is uh, Ensign Lynch? That's right. Nice. Well done. Thanks. Really well Nicely done. The board you know, he was, killed. He, yeah, he, very good. He was named after the critic on, uh, on the internet that criticized uh, TNG episodes. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yep. Okay. Um, Mikey Sues. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have jumped ahead there. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's okay. Finish. I'm sorry. Uh, let's uh, finish out the category. TNG for 500. Ah. Okay. Let's see. That's from Insurrection. Oh. Damn. You know, that sucks. When you know the movie, it, the guy's in, but you don't remember the character's name. That's pathetic. Ah, I, I feel bad. Not pass. Sorry. But I know the movie's Mr. in. Mr. Vice President. Pass, don't feel bad, Mikey. I know he's the father of the boy, but I can't remember his Mercer. name either. Pass. Uh, it's either Arnhem. I was watching this movie. Is it So Jeff? What is So Jeff? I was watching it. I was watching it like um like so got it. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Yeah. Well, that oh no, man, that movie is that movie is better than Nemesis because Nemesis just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Artem was his son. Yeah, and I I but they they you know, yeah, it's all right. It wouldn't, just, it, it, it there wouldn't are aspects of that movie that don't make sense either. Uh Mr. Vice President, it's your turn. Nick, um, I'm gonna go with. Okay. I'm gonna go with Picard. Fill in the blank to three, please. Now, if these men do not die well, it will be a blank matter for the king that led them to it. Mm. No, I'm gonna have to pass it. Mercer. What is black? That's correct. Now, real quick about insurrection. There is a scene where that character Sojef was talking, and if you don't have the widescreen version of it, you you think it's somebody else talking. Like like when he says we'll be if we if we don't if we have weapons, we'll become one of them. And the widescreen version makes it look like you know it's actually two different people talking. But if you have the pan and scan, it looks like he he's talking because the voices sound the same. And uh, and in scan, that's yeah. so VHS, yeah. But I used to have the VHS for <laughs> anyway. Um, Mercer, it is your turn 400 for, for Picard. Have we become so cowardly 
that we must blank a man because he carries the blood of a current enemy? Uh, what is condemn? I'm afraid not. Darn. Mikey suit is four. Hmm. It comes so cowardly. We must. You didn't read it in Picard's voice, and that's why. I um. Know. How about what is persecute? I'm afraid that is incorrect as well. Okay. Mr. Vice President. I'm going to guess what is punish. Nope, that's not it. Sorry. The word is extinguish. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow. That, that's even harsh. That was a great episode, though, man. That was yeah. great. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> Mikey, Mikey, it is your turn. Okay. Um, let's try... Enterprise actors for 100. Oshi Sato. Who is Grace Park? Very good. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got the last one. Grace Park was in the Battle for Galactica. Yeah, I know it's either Linda or Grace, so I was trying to. We'll give it to you. Thank you. You're so kind. Oh, John, John gave it to you, Mr. Vice President. Yes, please. it's your turn. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to comment on my comment about Hochi, but no. Um, anyway, I'm going uh, to go. I didn't even hear it. Oh, I said the worst um, communications officer in the franchise. The one on Discovery? <laughs> no, no, he's talking about Enterprise. You think that Hoshi Sato was one of the worst communications? Yeah. Officers. I, I didn't mean, uh, I didn't uh, we, we need to get you your meds, Mr. VP. <laughs> 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 All right, Mr. Vice President, it's your turn. Well, thank you for giving me I that. I didn't job. even think about Puke Discovery, so that's why. <laughs> Yeah, no one is worse than the, anyone on Peak Discovery. So you, you're right there. <laughs> um, um, I'm going to go with TNG references. I mean, sorry, Ga Galaxy Class references in DS9 and Voyager. So I'm going to go for 200, please. Got it. Voyager may not be as big as a galaxy class ship, but she's quick and smart like her captain. Um and I I give the episode, don't I? Yes, yeah, so we're looking for the episode. What is basics part one? That is incorrect. Mercer? I'm going to pass. I think I know what it is, but I'm not going to risk it. Mikey Soups. Hmm. I know, and I love Voyager, but uh, <laughs> I don't unless I really know it, I don't want to go negative pass. <laughs> is it Caretaker? It's from uh, Relativity. No, Relativity. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't oh. get it. Yeah, I'm glad at I least, didn't try it myself. At least the smart part of that uh, quote was correct. Yeah. She's pretty quick as well, but smart, definitely. You have, to, you have to be quick and smart to commit all those war crimes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know what you're talking about, John. Mercer, it is your <laughs> turn. I'm going to do uh, Enterprise Actors for uh, 400. Well, e evil people can be smart. They're just not using their smarts for good. They're intelligent for good. You could say that um, the governor of California was smart in the 1930s. Uh, uh, for, for this, anyway, our, we're looking for the head Orion slave trader from the episode Borderland. Who's Big Show? That would be correct. Sorry. If, um, You're good. If, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go with uh, Enterprise Actors for 200. Still it. Ah. 
Damn. That's that all spotted up guy with his face and everything. I'm not getting it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, all right, pass. Mr. Vice President. Do you really expect me to have a clue? Pass. Yes, Mercer. Who's John Fleck? That's right. That's John I'm Fleck watching. again? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. He was also in the Orville as one of the uh, Krill dudes. You know, you, we, we will grant you passage through our territory, but we will not save you. <laughs> well, I promise I won't forget his name ever again, John Fleck. Okay. Need I remind you, Sis Cisco poisoned the atmosphere of a planet. War crimes. <laughs> Mr. Hey, Vice hey, President, it's hey, your hey, turn. Hey, <laughs> um, uh, I'm not doing very well. Picard, fill in the blank for two, please. They used me to kill and to destroy, and I couldn't stop them. I should have been able to stop them. I tried. I tried so hard, but I wasn't blank enough. I wasn't good enough. Yes, you were, John Luke. It wasn't your fault. You want the episode? Oh, uh, I want you to fill in the missing word for the blank. Oh. Uh, what is strong? Very good. good job. Very strong answer. Hey, we'll get yeah. to All right, go away. Go away, Jeff. You're, you're drunk. Hell, <laughs> yeah, he's not. Um, can I respond to one of Omni's comments, or do you want me to add to the conversation <laughs> portion of the uh, wow. of the um, of comments? The, Jeez. Uh, Quick response, uh, number one. Um, someone says, um, I he said he said that um, she was a decorated officer. And I presume he's referring to Hoshi, I would simply say so was Admiral Pressman, but he wasn't a good admiral. Some people get decorated when they shouldn't be. Uh, I, believe, I, I believe he's referring to Janeway, actually. But Oh, well, then my, my, <laughs> my, my thing applies even more. There's no way. That wow. Janeway, wow. Yeah, yeah, she, she, I, I don't. She, I don't know about you, Mr. Vice President. I, I really think <laughs> you need your meds. Mercer, it's your turn. <laughs> I'll take uh, Enterprise for five hundred. The wraith in human form. Oh, that would be. Um, what's her face? Um, Uh, I can't. I can't remember her past. Mikey. Good question. Though. Mm, the Wraith. Oh, I'm trying to picture her like in what she was, and I can't. But I can't remember the name of the lady. Oh, that drives me nuts. Pass. Mr. Vice President. I think you know what I'm going to do. And I thought Wraith were from Stargate Atlantis. Pass. So that's Who what was Patrick there? said. Wasn't she the daughter of one of the other actors? Oh, no, Steph no. Stephanie Nisnik. Stephanie Nisnik? Mm. Yeah, she also played the trill in Insurrection. Oh, okay. Yeah, I agree, Patrick. 100%. Oh, she's hot. She's hot. Or she was Mikey hot. Sues. Okay, let's go. Picard, fill in the blank for 100. The blank must be drawn here. This far, no further. Oh, what is line? You got it. No, oh, thank you. All right, let me get out my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> I I think that's a great line because he quoted that from Moby Dick. So I was like, great line. I don't think he line. From Moby Dick, but yeah. it is a good line. Yeah. You know, it's funny, in the teaser trailer. That line was delivered differently. Like, they use a different take for the teaser trailer. 
Yes, they actually did in the teaser trailer. But then in the regular trailer, they used the actual line from the movie there. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Vice President. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with um Galaxy Class <laughs> references. Sorry, it took me so long to make up my It's phone. okay. I'm gonna go with three um for three hundred because I need the points. Now someone told me that ship out there is twice the size of a galaxy class starship and three times as strong. Oh, I, I feel bad for not knowing it. Pass. For sure. So you want the episode name? Yes. I know what it is, but I'm not going to guess. Well, no. No, be... what, what, what is uh, Valiant? That's it. Oh, good job. Oh. Well done. I just decided to go for it at the last minute while I still had time. Well, you have plenty right. of points, Mercer. <laughs> All right, Mercer, it is your turn. I'll take Picard for, to finish the category. Dr. Blank, I cannot, I will not, impose a set of commandments on these people. To do so violates the very essence of the Prime Directive. I love this episode. I can't think of the doctor's name. Can't think of the doctor's name, so let me think for another minute. My favorite episode. I can't think of the name. Pass. Mikey? Hmm. I have a good idea of who it is. It's like my favorite episode. Damn. Who is Pulaski? I'm afraid not. Ah. Mr. Vice President? I've only got 200, so what have I got to lose? What is Dr. Palmer? That is incorrect. Oh. It was Dr. Barron. Baron. Dr. Barron. Oh. It's from Who Watches the Watchers? Yep. Yeah, no, exactly. It Best was episode ever. Love it. Where's Dr. Palmer? We didn't go that Dr. far. Where's Dr. Palmer? Well, the Royale is the best episode ever, but beyond the Royale, it's the best episode ever. Okay. Um, um, let's see if I can get points back. Uh, let's finish Dr. out the Enterprise Barrett. actors at the hey, 300. Hang on. Hang on. Mr. Vice President, you were saying? Where's Sorry. Dr. Palmer? The one who actually died. There was a Palmer in that episode, I'm sure. Palmer was a crew member that uh, that they had to rescue, and Riker like hit him under a rock, or they hit under a rock, and then they transported aboard. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks, Lisa. No, no Mikey, problem. you, what, what did you pick? I'm sorry. Oh no, I was just getting ready to pick the next category. I think Go you ahead. wanted. I, was, I didn't mean to interrupt Steve though. Uh, no, let's okay. finish up. Yeah, you know, let's finish out the Enterprise actors for three hundred. All right, I found the daily double. You don't have any positive points. However, you can bet up to a thousand. Okay. Yeah, let's try to get on the positive side. So let's go for four hundred points. 400. Okay. Administrator of Floss. Floss. Okay. Let me think. Let me think. Hmm. I know this one. I'm going to take a shot in the dark, but um, who is Jeffrey Combs? Well, hey, reg regretfully, can I, I have to you failed. Can I guess? Oh. Can yeah, I guess ahead, before you do it? Go ahead. Robert yes. Foxworthy? Well, Foxworth. Robert Foxworth. Yeah. You're very close. Thank you. He is awesome. He's a great villain. All right, Mr. VP. Um. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to go 
Well, I need the points. Um, so do I. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go Galaxy references for four, please. Only five, but they've got more firearms than a Galaxy class starship. I'm crashing and burning fast. Mercer? I'm just trying to think if it's part one or part two. Hold on a second. Let me think. Um, I'm going to pass, but I'm going to guess afterwards. Mikey? Uh, what is the year of hell part one? That is incorrect. Is it the Maquis? But I don't remember which part. Uh, nope, it wasn't the Maquis. That was from The Circle. Oh, okay. The Circle. I, okay. was, I was thinking of, you know, it was Deep Space Nine, and, and I was kind of, kind of sort of. It close. was. It was Deep Space Nine. Same season. Yeah. yeah. Mercer, it is your turn. Uh, I'll try full spread for 300. I love that. Valiant. Oh, um. So you want to know who they fired at? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, who are the Jem'Hadar or Dominion? Whatever. That's you correct. Want. Cool. Very good. <clears throat> All right, Mikey. Okay. Uh, let's go full spread for two hundred. Rules of engagement. Hmm. Uh, what are the Klingons? Very good. Klingons. It's always good to shoot at Klingons, except for in that episode where it wasn't good to shoot at Klingons. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, it's your turn. It's probably going to be from the non-canon show, which is why I've been here. <laughs> there are no discovery clues here. Uh, or strange really, new continuity headaches. But I need, really need the points, so I'm going to go for um, for 500 for full screen, please. E squared. Of course. I'm going to go... Who has the Zindi? That is incorrect. Mercer? I'm going to pass. I don't remember who they were shooting at. Mikey? Yeah, I'm going to pass too. It's a good question, though, man. It's a really killer question here. Kovalin? Wow. Yeah, I've gotten that. I'm glad I passed. That was a killer question, though, because it was in the Zindi arc. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are 500 clues, so those tend to be tough. Mercer, it is your turn. I'll try uh, Galax. No, no, I'll try full spread for 400. The Enar. Or the Romulans. Very good. Good job. I thought it was I a wish I got quick question. That one. I, didn't want to I actually it. knew that one from Enterprise. <laughs> Mikey uh, Sue. Oh man. Uh, okay. Uh, let's try 500 for Galaxy Class references. Impressive vessel, Captain. Galaxy Class? Hmm. Well, let's try it again. What is your appell? That is incorrect. Okay. Mr. Vice President. <laughs> the only one I remember from your video there, John. Sorry. How you were doing homework, though? I have no idea. Pass. Or, sir? Uh, I'm going to pass. Uh, I don't know. Infinite regress. Infinite regress? Yeah, that's a mm -hmm. Voyager. That's why I didn't know it. Yeah. What is that episode? Describe the poor. That's Pre when Seven of Nine is manifesting personalities of a. Uh, People who have been assimilated. 
right, Mr. VP. Continuity on that? What's that? Did that, that violate continuity? Like, uh, I don't know. No, don't worry about the answer, man. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll watch it. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Mr. Go ahead, Vice Steve. President. Uh, Galaxy Class One Hundred. Not that I'm doing good at this point. Let's speed it up. We've got a Galaxy Class Starship on our tail. Um, what is the Maquis part one? Incorrect, I'm afraid. Mercer? What is timeless? That's it. Was that the one where uh, Jordy Harris is in the Delta Flyer? Okay. Well, they're in the Delta and they're being chased by a Galaxy Starship. Yeah, it's got yeah. Jordy in it. Yeah, I don't know if it was a Delta Flyer or not. I've only seen the episode like about three years ago, so or maybe it was just Voyager being chased. I guess I don't know. Weird. It wasn't Voyager that was being chased. It was the Delta Flyer. Was it, it was Delta the Delta Flyer. Flyer. Okay. I had a feeling. I, I looked at the uh yeah, you know, the video. Yeah. And it was right. Chicote. Yeah, Paris was flying. Yeah. Paris no, was flying. No, no was Paris, Paris was no. It was Chicote and um Kim. Oh, okay. Chicote and, and Jordy Kim. And Jordy is a good cameo in that episode. Did he direct that? Yeah. Did LeVar Burton happen to direct that episode? It's possible. I don't I know. would have to I'm check. Not sure. All right, anyway. Mercer, you get, the, you get the last clue, Mercer. Yeah. Go finish this off, Mercer. <laughs> Defiant. Um, were the Cardassians? Very good. Very good. Yay. That's with Riker's evil sideburns. Is there All right. In Final Dignity, because this is one. But if I... it's with Riker's evil sideburns. So unfortunately, even limit, yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, the only player that can play Final Jeopardy is Mercer. And here's your category, Mercer. In defiant class. And uh, up at one point. <laughs> one, one point. Okay. Well, I'll see if well, I can get the answer. Well, I was going to say, Mercer, because you could bet four thousand one ninety nine and yeah, still win. I, I like point. having <laughs> points. I like having points. So for once, I like okay. it. Okay, I like it. Looks I, good. Look, got on my driving record. Let's reveal the clue. Before the arrival of the Sao Paulo in this episode. Esri didn't know they were getting another Defiant class ship. What is Player, the you have 30 seconds. Cup flaw. What is the dog in the war? Do I have to write it down? Okay. Yeah. If that's your guess. There. I put it in the private chat. I like the It's a good clue. These are good clues. Thank you. Yeah, great questions, uh, John. Appreciate oh, it. Yeah. Cool. All right, yeah. Mercer. You bet one point. And you really say the dogs of war? That is correct. Yay. Yay. Good job, Mercer. Well done, Lucy. You played Thanks, really guys. well. And one point, give you. Patrick, he did direct Timeless, which is why he probably was easy for him to have a cameo in the episode. So you are the champion, Mercer. Thank you, Mercer. Good job. I got, I've been holding it in. I'm getting this bathroom. It's a <laughs> See you now, if, now see if you had bet forty one ninety nine, Mercer, you would have had eighty three ninety nine. That would have been pretty big. But he didn't know he would get it correct. Yeah. I'm just saying it would have been a thorough destruction of us. 
But Mercer was merciful. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good game, guys. Well, thank you, John. Yes, thank indeed. you, Jeff. That was a great game. Thank you, guys. Thank you for playing. Appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate it. You have plenty thank of players you, Mr. for next VP. round. Yep. That's all right. I look forward to the discussion after the next round. Thanks, guys. Um, the next board is going to be all Voyager categories, and I'm going to lose because it's all Voyager categories. Voyager season one, Voyager season five, Voyager season. <laughs> one. I mean, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna go right down the tubes. That was all Enterprise and DS9. That's why I even had a chance. Uh, well, you don't know for sure, Mister. There was a fair amount of Enterprise in that. Yep. Well, thanks, come guys. on, Brad. Wolf. Size doesn't matter. What's that about? <laughs> He's telling me, geez. I'm like, size? What size? <laughs> I don't know what he's referring to. I don't even know what he's talking about there. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> okay, Patrick. Thanks, guys. That was fun. I, uh, I. Like I said, it was all a lot of DS9 and Enterprise, which I love both of those shows. I don't really like uh, Voyager that much. Well, we'll see what you comes like, up in round three. You like Enterprise more than Voyager? Yes. I absolutely okay. do. I, I just, agree. I just, like the I just like the characters. I like the design of the ship. I like the, the actors. Voyager's good. It's just kind of, it's kind of like... I'm not as engaged by the characters on it as I am for Enterprise. I agree, I agree that, that um, Voyager's writing wasn't as good as a lot of other iterations of the franchise, but but at least oh. it fit in canon. It wasn't a prequel, and it didn't... Well, uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you an example. Yeah. Like there, There's a podcast I listen to, and they're going through Enterprise, and they might they're like right at the halfway point. They're like in the middle of season three or something like that, or season four. I don't know what. And they're going to stop, not because they hate the show, but because with very few exceptions, it's all the same. Every review is the same. These are good. They're not great, and they're not bad. And, yeah, yeah. and after a while, that that's, that's if you're doing a podcast, you, you're, every podcast is the same. This episode is fine. Or what the next episode is fine. You know what I mean? It doesn't take that many... Uh, Chances, it's a, like the characters are yeah. not like, as yeah, yeah. Picard and Data. You know, they're not like characters that you really love, like Picard, Data, and Riker, where you just spend time with the characters and that's good enough. Maybe, maybe they should just do the very best episodes and the yeah. very worst episodes. Yeah, that, that's what they were going to do, but then the, the uh, people voted for them to do do all of them, but then they just are going to stop because it's just becoming tedious you know so when they actually did it you know so it's just it's just it's a good show it's just it's just um it's at mostly at that median level of being just good really you know but I'm, yeah 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 hello eric there's sunder awesome eric greetings hello eric good to see you eric welcome to the show uh, all right, we got like one to... more game. Already. I'm sorry, oh. I'm sorry. No, thanks for joining us. Of course, you're always welcome back for the chat after we uh, finish our final round. Indeed. Thank you, guys. Is okay? Backstage, or is there no room backstage? Yeah. There's no back. room back there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll get you guys to put me back there, please. All right, okay. see you in a bit. Okay, let's welcome up. This may sound familiar, Patrick and Omnicast. Yay! Now I'm going to get my butt kicked. <laughs> Pretty much. We, we had another person in the back for a bit, but they left. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh. Unfortunate. Yeah. I thought... Omni, are you there? Trying not to. I'm doing a Rubik's cube because my anxiety. He's in his alcove. He's regenerating. My Rubik's cube is, is helping me because I have anxiety right now. So. 
Omni, are you there? Are you, you, the board, did you? Do you think the board you, can solve a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, definitely. The board cube, also known as the D6. I don't think he's there. <laughs> Omni. <laughs> did you mute yourself? No, he's not muted. Well, he's not muted on the StreamYard side, but he could be muted maybe, maybe on hard, his hard, side. Yeah. Hard to be muted it's on, the, on his headset yeah. or something. Hold on, let me get it. Let me. Uh... Let's redirect the Midas array. Send him in a ping. Ping. Let me see if I can get him on the regular chat. TTL expired in transit. Omnicast. Omni, Omnicast. <laughs> Yo, he's, he's Omni. Toying he's toying with us. May have had to step away for a minute. <laughs> I don't think he's in the chat. He may have dropped out. From the YouTube chat, I mean. Thomas is saying Omni forfeited. Well, is there anyone else out there, perhaps someone who hasn't played yet, who would like to uh, step in for uh, the final round? Nerval, you want to play? Meow. Thomas, you want to come up? Arabic, you're welcome to come up. Brad Wolf, we'd love to play. Planet X, uh, would you like to play? T Dowd. Uh, Mr. T, I bet, is in bed by now. Yeah. Want to guess? guess. <laughs> Usually he gets tuckered out about now. Poor guy. Yeah, the vice president might be on to something about me picking up his uh, check from Paramount. <laughs> Jay, are you still out there? Would you like to play? Okay, we look forward to that Planet X. We'll take a rain check this time. Nothing but the rain. Omni. Well, if uh, Omni doesn't come back here in a minute and we don't get any other takers, we could perhaps just do a round four with our uh, remaining contestants. <laughs> oh, there, oh, he, there is. he is. Oh, right here. I was listening in the other room. I'm back. <laughs> so you're already regenerating. Yes, I was regenerating. Man. That's exactly what I was doing. I don't, I don't believe that, Thomas. I, I think you're just <laughs> afraid to play. Come on in, Thomas. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back, Omni. Thank you. I have always been here. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> indeed, indeed. All right. <laughs> Are the three of you ready to play? Yes. Yep. And Nerl is helping me. Awesome. All right. Let's play Jet Nerdy. For our first category, we have full spread from Voyager. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Cisco, fill in the blank. There you go, Mercer. Mm -hmm. For our visual category, we're getting movie computer screens, and I want you to identify which movie. Ooh, nice. 
intrepid class references in this category i want the name of the episode and finally we have orville actors there, there you go, go mercer. mercer yeah you got a couple of really good wow. categories here mercer but intrepid and... class references that video wasn't released yet <laughs> i'll try i'll try um cisco fill in the blank for 300. you have a wife a career and don't think because i'm not around much that i don't want blank with children not quite sorry patrick oh i know what it is darn it mm. Uh, um, can I answer again? Uh, no, fast. Omnicast. I know the episode. Uh, the visitor. Now I know it. Yeah, because of the. I don't know. Pass. What was grandchildren? It? Yeah, grandchildren. Grandchildren. There you go. That's what I meant. You know that's what I meant. Yeah, there is a difference. There is indeed. All right, Patrick, it's your turn. Let's do movie computer screens for eh, 400. Let's start easy. Hopefully. What is... Insurrection. Very good. Good job. I knew that one. It's the only one with that weird font. <laughs> it's the, the, the array, yeah? the, uh, the collector. Thomas, depending on your headset, you may have to download a driver. Hmm. All right, Omni. You've got a real operating system. Let's do <laughs> movie computer screens for five. Well, that's tricky. Um, can't really. It looks like a tool album cover. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm glad I did not go for the 500. <laughs> Pass. Mercer. I know what it is, but I'm going to pass because I'm not going to risk it. Patrick? Yeah, and I said that I was glad that I didn't pick this one, so nope. Pass. Is it well, the, it's either is two it or three, three, but which one was yeah. it? Yeah, is it? Actually, it was from the motion picture. Oh, wow. I'm really glad I didn't pick it. <laughs> I thought that was the Genesis effect, uh, the video. Yeah, I, that's what I thought oh, it was. Right? Too. Yeah. Was it really looks like Hundred. Was it? What is it? That was when they had to speed up their transmission uh, to send to V'ger. Oh, wow. I'm really glad I didn't pick that. Okay, that, that was a guess difficult it. one. Yeah. Mercer, it is your turn. Uh, I'll try Orville for 300. <laughs> Probably get it wrong because it's not my day. All this Catan. Ooh, that's a... Oh, that would be um, who is um, uh, Robert Picardo? Very good. What do you mean it isn't your day? You've won the first two <laughs> games. <laughs> I don't know what way. I have anxiety right now. I'm so okay. Scared, so. I'm sorry. Uh, Patrick, it is your turn. Hmm. Mm, movie computer screen for 300. What well, is uh, Nemesis? That's correct. Yeah. Um, that movie is so bad. I love it, but it's so bad. Omni. Mm. Let's do Cisco fill in the blank for five. Oh, well, by all means. Will one blank be enough? I don't know. Pass. Mercer. 
The answer is what is run about? That's correct. <laughs> oh, I, I love that line. <laughs> <laughs> it's like most understated line. Yeah. That's it. funny. <laughs> what run about, you know? All right, Mercer, it is your turn. <laughs> I love it when they when they actually are funny. It's like it's great. There's nothing like Star Trek humor in my mind. It's like the best kind of humor. Um, I'll try Orville for 400, but I, I probably won't be getting you it. You will probably get it. All right. You oh, yeah. Daily double. Uh, you to, have 800 points. You can bet up to 1,000, and you're I'll 600 do, off the lead. I'll do uh, 300. 300. The Krill Ambassador. So you want the, the actors? The actor's name. Krill Ambassador. There's many Krill Ambassadors. Um, if Mercer doesn't get in, may I uh, make a guess for no points? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass because I, I, I don't know which guy you're talking about. There's like a couple people that could be the ambassador. Is it John Fleck? You knew it. Is it? Yes, what? it is. Okay, that's why no, I didn't so want to get. He said it after. He, I know. He I'm, not gonna get points. I'm not going to get the points. I just was wondering if it was him. Well, the thing of it is, you would lose points because it was a daily double. Okay. Well, so I'm going to leave it up to John. No, no, he no, answered no. after the buzzer. Yeah, it's all right. I don't mind losing the point. I just was wondering if that's the character you were talking. It's when you when I, when I heard ambassador. I was thinking let, let John off. speak. Let John speak. <laughs> uh, well, yes, I was just going to say that since you did unfortunately answer after the buzz, I'm afraid you'd have to lose the points on that one. It's okay. But I was thinking the reason I didn't, wasn't confident in, in John Fleck is because I thought the ambassador could also be the guy that attended the Annie con uh, play. And I couldn't think of his name. Uh, you know what I'm talking was, about? I think it was the same guy, unless I'm, unless I'm mistaken. He was in a couple episodes. Okay. Okay, Patrick, you got the lead and control. Uh, Cisco fit in the blank for 400. No, we may not be able to get you to tell a weapon. If you so much as a blank, I'll just come along. Oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Oh, um, uh, uh, what is letter? Letter. Very good. Dude, yeah, Cisco is so course. awesome, man. Cisco is oh, the man. Cisco. He's so yeah, good. He, he is really good. <laughs> that was from business as usual. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. Omni. Give me a second. Let's do full spread Voyager for five. Full spread. Think tank. Who are the Hazari? Nicely done. Good job. Wow. Well back. done. Well done. Wow. Mercer. I'll do Orville for 200. Admiral Perry. Oh, who is Ted Danson, of course. Very good. He'd be the one. Yeah, he, uh, he died you. well. Patrick. Okay. The character, eh? not the actor. <laughs> um, I like the movie computer screens category. Let's too. try Intrepid Class References for 300. USS Voyager, Intrepid Class. Much bigger than I expected and much less advanced. Now we want the episode name. Right. Uh, hmm. I have no idea. Pass. Omni. Corner work stock is about to crash. What is future's end? You got it. Deed. Did not link that. Damn it. <laughs> Well done. That jumped on me. 
Thomas says code of honor. <laughs> All right, Omni. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, intrepid class for 500. <laughs> USS Voyager Intrepid class. 15 decks of the most advanced technology you'll find anywhere. Dilithium powered warp engines, integrated bio neurocircuitry, holodex. Mm, that's tricky. I think I know it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna not risk it. Pass. Mercer. What is caretaker? Uh, caretaker. That's incorrect. Patrick. Hmm. What is scientific scientific method? It's also incorrect. Oh. Is it live fast and prosper? Yep. yep. Nah. <laughs> I was thinking of it. I don't want to risk it. Fake, fake way. Fake way. Fake way. <laughs> okay, Mercer, it is your turn. I'll try a world for 500, but I'm not confident anymore. Senator Ballask. That is first. <laughs> um... I gotta think of who that is first. It sounds familiar, but I think it's a guy from uh it's a guy from Pass. <laughs> Pass. Okay. Patrick. Who is Lisa Baines? Nicely done. So, well, yeah, she passed away. That's her, yeah. Passed away indeed. Yep. Yeah, shame. They ad- they dedicated the episode to her too. Yep. Excuse me. Uh Patrick, it is your turn. My turn again. Uh, Good job, Patrick. Let's do... Thank you. Uh, let's try computer screen for 200. What is uh, Star Trek 2 to Wrath of Khan? That is incorrect. Ooh. Omni. Star Trek 5. What is Star Trek 5? That is also incorrect. Oh, Mercer. What is Star Trek Six? You got it. Of course. Yeah. That's when uh, Scotty was like, you know, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. collapsing. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Omni. Good one. Intrepid class for four. Voyager is an intrepid class starship with a crew of one hundred forty-six, designed for long-term exploration. I thought we'd start with a tour of our primary systems. First stop, engineering. Be... I could see it, but I can't place the episode. Pass. Mercer. I'm going to pass on this one. These Patrick. Clues. Mm. Yeah. What is Dragon Steve? It's incorrect. Oh. It's the one with, with Janeway. With someone to watch over me. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Neelix was saying it. Yep. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Mercer. I got to do, do Cisco. I got to just do Cisco because for 200 because I don't want anyone else to get that one. Unless I get it wrong. I'm not going to let him destroy Bajor. I fear no blank. From now on, it's him or me. Mm. I haven't seen this episode in 30,000 years. Um, wow. Yeah. Well I thought I was old. What, what is evil? You got it. Yep. Hmm. Hey, game is tightening. Patrick, it is your you know, turn. Cisco should have just been like uh, skinning tomato uh, potatoes for the rest of the show. You know? Let's uh, try full spread for uh, 400. Fury. Uh, what is Cass's shuttle? No. It's incorrect. Yeah, I knew it. Omni? Who are the Vidians? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid guess. Stupid guess. 
Tight game. Omni, you got the lead now. It's your turn. <laughs> Let's do full spread for three. Dragon's teeth. Well, that would be who are the Vard War. That's correct. The only time where somebody Damn. ordered a full spread of phasers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to your video. The little teaser at the end of the video, right? The little... <laughs> Did you ever see that one video? It wasn't John didn't make all oh, John makes great videos where they show all the torpedoes that Voyager has and every time they do a full spread they when they count, they just yeah. flash the word full spread is just hilarious. Yeah. Yep. yeah, I love that video. What is a full spread Mercer. of phasers though? Man, whatever. Mercer, it's your turn. <laughs> I'll do all the for one hundred. <laughs> Gordon Malloy. Uh, who is Scott Grimes? You got it. Love him. He's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Patrick, it is your turn. Uh, Cisco fill in the blank for 100. Please. For all we know, at this very moment, somewhere far beyond all those distant blank, Benny Russell is dreaming of us. Well, the stars? That's correct. <laughs> Omni? Yeah. Let's do full spread for two. Flesh and blood. Who are the Herogen? That is correct. I was thinking either that or the holograms. Yeah, Omni's, but... Omni's back, man. Omni's back. <laughs> <laughs> but he's hitting his stride, that's for sure. All right, Mercer. Uh, I'm going to do movie computer screens for 100. Mm. Oh, what is Star Trek 3? <laughs> With the guy from RoboCop, you know, like uh, the RoboCop guy. Miguel Ferrer? Miguel, yeah, he's a... Uh, Good morning, Captain. <laughs> Dick Jones. Morning. Full power of Edible. And Trans, Trans was Warp was never mentioned in that film. Dick Jones <laughs> fumbled the ball and I was there to pick it up. That was a dream, too? Okay, got it. No, 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 no. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, name now. Lord, yeah, thank you. Lord Reloaded made a comment in one of his videos a few years ago that Transwarp was never mentioned in dialogue in that film. Oh, really? Yeah, he did. Because yeah, he says full Transwarp <laughs> available at your command or something, right? I mean, but they said it. And, oh, whatever. <laughs> he, he said it in a video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. And so he said he has it from the he should have Transwarp Drive. Oh. Uh, let's go with... Uh, Full, full spread for 100. Dark Frontier. Who are the Borg? That's correct. You and I knew that one. Resistance is hopeless. Yeah. <laughs> the Weak Will Perish. Right. Who was that? The Weak Will Perish. That was such a cheesy line. 8472. Uh, 8472, yeah. All right, Omni. Uh, Intrepid Class for two. Two, two. Got it. Vessel identified. Federation Starfleet Intrepid Class. 143 life forms. Prepare for assimilation. There goes John with his best board voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want the episode? Yep. Yes. I mean, you just you just said it. What is Dark Frontier? That is correct. <laughs> you have to make me think about it for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mercer, you get the last clue. It's you a ready? Black matter for the king that he had the same episode in two different categories. That always throws me off when he does that. Always, <laughs> except when it's Chief Miles Edward O'Brien. Then, uh, then it's okay. <laughs> then it's allowed. <laughs> Intrepid class. Sustainable cruise velocity of warp factor 9.975. 15 decks. Crew complement of 141. Bio neural circuitry. This is it. What is Caretaker? That's the episode I thought I was getting earlier. Yeah. <laughs> AKA Banjo Man. What, 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 is that, what is that very hot uh, Betazoid chick? Study. Only goes for women in visual range. Study in the Dutch. <laughs> 
intense study. study. It's you the same room as before. Fast when they're in visual range or some cheesy line like that. I hated that whole interchange. Consider how much you would like to wager with this category. NX class. And where is Mr. VP? Yeah, I know. Come on. How many points do I have here? Um, you you have 1,600. Patrick also has 1,600. And Omnicast is in the lead at 2,900. Clue, <laughs> and and we have Ent is garbage that is in the Cosmo Buzz as well. <laughs> I think mm. we know who that is. <laughs> Let's reveal the clue. <laughs> During a standoff with this species, Archer advised them to take a good look at an NX class starship, since they would be seeing more of them. Players, you have thirty seconds. Kapla. is going to kill me. I such good clothes because I know this quote. This is such a good clue, and I haven't watched this show in so long. Dude, I got to hand it to you, John. Right now, great, great, great games tonight. Thank you. I have to agree. I can only second that. Appreciate Maybe for it. <laughs> oh, I know. I answered it wrong. I know what it is now. Darn it. <laughs> You just needed an extra 30 seconds. That's all you need. Yeah, needed. just like, right. uh, you know. If this was a question of Trek, it would have been no problem. You could have taken six minutes or, you know. Or yeah. <laughs> but, but now I got to know oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to be three hours tomorrow. Oh, man. <laughs> I hope not. All right. Let's find out who our winner is. Patrick, you had 1,600 points. Entering final Jeopardy. What was your reply to the clue? Uh, Zindi? Unfortunately, that is incorrect. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, how much was your wager? All but one of your points. Taking you down to one point. Of course. Mercer, you also had 1,600 points. What was your response? The Klingons? That is also incorrect. Klingons. Sorry about that. And what was your wager? The exact opposite. One point. Tricky. Even you 1,599 points. Look at you. Omnicast, you're in the lead at 2,900 points. What was your reply? See, what are Nausicans? Play Jeopardy, Omnicast. That's correct. <laughs> Dom mm. got hey, you on. That episode with Very the, good. Uh, Have no grumba. Good job. Uh, good job there, Omnicast. But, oh. as, soon as, I, as soon as I thought about it after I wrote the end as soon as the music was over I realized it was from like one of those early yes uh, uh, all right Mayweather. how much did you wager 301 points give me 3201 points and Omnicast you are the champion you know what I, you know, I gotta say oh, well. I, good, good job Omni that's fantastic thank you good job to you you played a great game Mercer this whole thing. and mm -hmm. yeah I really it like is garbage yes I can see I can see that you typed ugly ship. Can you see this, Jeff? In the episode, with the, I think it was with the Nausicaan. <laughs> there was a conversation. I think I know who that is. In the episode with the Nausicaans and, and the Enterprise, right? And, and, and in Enterprise, uh, the captain of that um, freighter, who is like not in most of the episode because uh, he'd been, you know, the other guy took over, but him and Archer have a conversation that is just so. 
world building. It's like a world building conversation about like, you know, how you get the feel for what these freighter captains are like. They just go back and forth and they just deliver supplies. And Archer says, well, there's a whole new kind of attitude that that the Earth is having about um, what's what they're doing in space. You know what I mean? It's like the last two minutes of the episode. And those are the kind of conversations that that's why I like Enterprise better than Voyager because it, you have world building happening. What do you have to say to that, Mr. VP? I would say that it would be, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna like the signs of more because it's gonna be a bit different than you probably expected. I would <laughs> say that, that Enterprise could have been enjoyed as a, if you think of it as a standalone sci fi series that isn't Star Trek but st just standalone. If it wasn't cancelled early, and but the trouble is, you can't treat it like a standalone series that's not Star Trek because they go constantly reference real Star Trek when they try and build real Star Trek into yeah. future stuff, Star Trek events. For example, oh, um, by the way, is loser? Is that you, Thomas? Thomas, are you maybe? There? The maybe. Episode maybe. Is, the episode is fortunate son, and the, it's Captain Keen from the from the fortunate. Him and Archer have this long conversation, not a long conversation, but a conversation about literally how their attitudes are different about uh, space travel. I think it was just fantastic. That's why I watched the show. Fair enough, Miss. Remember when when you invite him to a drink? Like it when I. When I tell people that Enterprise is garbage and all this stuff, I'm, a, I'm only sort of joking in a friendly way. You're, you're know, know, like oh, we, we, we know. And we're just yeah. joking right back. I know, yeah, I know. Absolutely, yeah. I want to make sure that Lisa knows that I'm... Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you, we're just busting on you. Everyone busts yeah. on me too, so you're good. Yeah. By, by the way, guys, I wanted to let you know, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, the X-Men 97, they've, you know, I don't normally endorse Disney+, Plus, but the X-Men 97 new episodes they've done so far, uh, one through six, have been really good. And I just wanted to recommend it. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go see it, because it's, it's very good. I have an X-Men series. Is it live action or cartoon, Mikey? Well, it's animated. It's it's an animated series. It, it, it existed way back in like 1992 for like five years, and you know, yeah, five I, I remember that as a kid. And right, and then just recently they just brought back a brand new, uh, you know, season of it and uh, re-updated all their CGI and all their other stuff. I mean, it took them 27 years, but they finally brought it back and. Uh, Oh, wow, yeah, the cool. first six episodes they've done have been actually pretty impressive, I have to say. You know, just for you know what they put together for an animated series. I'm I'm not usually a big fan of it, but I would definitely recommend it to all of you gentlemen if you get a chance to see it. It's very good. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, thank, thank you, Planet X. Yeah. And uh Eric Alexander was saying, yeah, is that is that the one where Picard got stabbed by a Nausicaan in the bar? And Q yes. uh yeah, that's the one that, like. where they depict it. Right, that's the one. Yeah, that's the first time I saw Nelsikins, actually. <laughs> first time any of us saw Nelsikins. Yeah. Well, I mean, later, you know, until Enterprise, but you know. By the way, if Mister Bunny is out there watching or watching later, I'm not wearing plaid. I've got my Tom Green County T-shirt on. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Very nice. You're not in uniform, sir. I'm just saying. According to some people oh. in the chat. That's all. Omni, where'd you go? <laughs> Omni? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> 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 there you are. 
Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that sarcasm thing we were talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I remember. That, it was that again. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. Back. <laughs> well, congrats again on the Ken cast. Oh, oh, thank you, Mikey. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You know, I say that out of love. I don't say that out of meanness. Oh, I know that. Oh, I, I'm, I believe me. I very much know that. Yeah. You got a great memory, I gotta tell you. I I wouldn't have remembered most of that stuff you do, and I just you know, just saying. Yeah, it's it's just years of watching over and over again. I I guess eventually I'll catch up with the new stuff, but not now. I'm just I'm not ready yet. And that, that was another question. Mr. Mr. VP, have you I see you're raising your hand. Have you been keeping up with Puke Discovery? I've been meaning to ask you and I haven't run into you in the last five weeks. <laughs> have you been watching it on Paramount Plus? I have no no desire to throw up. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I mean, it's been a wild ride. Destroy your TV set. Uh, yeah. It's a smash hit. And, yeah, I smashed my head into the <laughs> wall. You know, there's a big thing coming up. I, oh yeah, I big thing! I can't wait. Oh no, that's great. The, uh, Time Lord Jeff was starting to smash his head into the briefcase. He transformed from the TARDIS. <laughs> but but I, but I do. Yeah, have smash my head hard enough to regenerate. You know. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but, what, what's that, Mister VP? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, VP. On a similar on a similar subject track, I do mm -hmm. have an announcement which may shock some of you, you know, maybe disowned from the channel, I don't know, but um, I have, I had, I caught, the other day, I caught an episode of Strange New Worlds, mm -hmm. Patrick already knows about this, <laughs> oh, great, great show, <laughs> they call it groundbreaking, you're going to be, you're going to be surprised on me. Which episode did you see? I'm curious. Hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll, make, I'll tell you the story. And then okay. So I caught the episode. Forgive me, I don't know the name. But I caught the episode I of... the names either. Um, of Strange New Worlds that had the episode where uh, Uhura was getting the messages from the aliens. And they were making her hallucinate mm. and feeling the emotions that they were feeling because mm. the, the Enterprise yeah. and the Deuterium facility was accidentally hurting them. And and I, I was just channel surfing and I had to, because it's on broadcast TV here as well as streaming. Mm. And I just happened to, um, to, sorry, I got distracted by Patrick's comment. Um, anyway. Oh, I'm just going to try and ignore the comments because otherwise I'll get derailed. Um, I'm sorry, I won't bring them up. It's all right. It's it's my fault for being so ADD. <laughs> um, um, oh, so, well, thank you for uh, confirming that, Patrick, because, yes, I did see the ship, so I knew it was uh, Idris Elba. And <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. VP. Class. Go yeah. ahead, Mr. So VP. I, so I was... I was Seeing that episode, and I thought, you know what? If it wasn't Star Trek, if it, if it didn't have continuity headaches because we we know what we should expect <laughs> from Star Trek, mm -hmm. it's a it's a it's a good standalone sci-fi show. Interesting. So, uh, well, it's, the writing's it's an okay standalone mm -hmm. sci-fi show. So I've decided to go back and watch um from the beginning of season two wow. pretend it's not pretend it's not star trek at all pretend it's just another sci-fi show that just happens to have the same character names from a from mm -hmm. a far <laughs> superior show and just enjoy it as light entertainment it's good there's one where there's a lot of singing too just be ready for that one a lot of singing yeah, in there. Yeah, your recovery I have four episodes yeah, we... in season two. I have four episodes into season two. I just watched the Lotus Eaters today. And it's okay, you know, but, um, you know, I don't hate it. It's not bad, for, for, but it's not great either. If you, <laughs> if you have to pretend it's not a Star Trek show, then it's not good then. I tend to agree. Yeah, that's a good point. 
I you know, I like that whole thing with Ortega. I don't like that character at all. But she flies um, the ship. Yeah, she flies. The, I fly the ship. I fly the ship. Vegas I'm just is like, at the helm. like three minutes on that scene where she where she says that she this flies. This is my the realm. Ship. Spent like three whole minutes on that. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, I just I just found out that uh, she flies the ship. It's an Andy derivative Jill. Uh, stated that she may go ahead and do a review reviews of the Star Trek Continues fan film, and I think she should because to me, I think it's canon. I think it follows right after Turnabout Intruder. Absolutely it really not follows canon. It. If oh, it's absolutely on. not canon. It's a it's, great it's, series. Yeah, it's far better. It's than well done. The worlds, but it's not yeah, canon. I'd... Yeah, Tokyo and I did uh, reviewed three of them so far, and it's yeah. it's we we just love watching them. It's and we, we when we watch those, we tend to like nitpick and maybe lambaste them a bit. But some of them are so good, we had nothing really to say. Like we're just we're sitting here watching the episodes, enjoying them. Yeah. Without much to say. It was like this is so good. We wish we had this now on TV. You know, it was that well produced. You uh, especially that series. you especially yeah, love the one with the Borg, and you especially oh, love oh. the Borg in um, Berman. Yeah. Uh, Star Trek continues. Okay. No, this. Oh, I meant when you were watching those other garbage ones. Oh yeah. Okay. No, the that's true. <laughs> um, Eric, uh, John, can I ask you? They're destroying the corn and <laughs> more uh, Dex John, characters. Are you hang on, kidding? <laughs> yeah, John. Is it true that? Okay. Oh, I let me know if this rumor is true or not. Recently, we heard a rumor that Gene Roddenberry's son actually did state in an interview that he believed Star Trek Continues was canon and that his father would have done it the like, a, like a season, like either season you know, four or five. Is that true? I have no idea whether he said that or not, but I don't think it really matters because his opinion doesn't determine what canon is. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't own the IP. Paramount does. Right. I own okay. it. Okay. Me and Seth <laughs> bought it. <laughs> well, Omnicat sells it. <laughs> he, well, you know, you know for, every man has a price. Did as you know that Ted DiBiase said. Seth just dropped the news that uh, Yoro is coming back. He didn't say in what capacity, but he did drop it in, a, in an interview that he was on a podcast the other day. Huh? And he did say, but he basically the way he phrased it was like, well, the Orville was a passion project, but I say was, but I don't mean that because it is coming back. That's what he said. They oh. didn't specify what he meant. Well, huh. th there was a there was a statement going around a few weeks ago saying that the Orville is renewed, but it didn't come from Seth or this was from uh, Seth. Seth. Disney Seth. or Hulu. This is from the Mike Henry podcast. And in fact, I could probably find it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, and, but, and I, I've, I've had a, I've, I've wait a minute. I've had a couple other confirmations on that. Now again, it's not Seth, it's not Hulu, it's not Disney, but they're, they're prominent people. Let's put it that way. Okay. Yeah, but Alex Kurtzman has listed like twelve different Star Trek shows that he says coming or coming, and none of them yeah. happen. I have That's the true. It's a Mr. Good VP, thing. thankfully, I don't want any of them? Yeah. This VP, you've been trying to say something for a bit. It, it's all right. Here it is. I, I want to say that that um, even though I'm prepared to watch Strange New Worlds because I'm starved of sci-fi at the moment and I'm just hmm. using it as standalone sci-fi show. Well, I you, you, say, you know what you should really watch, Mr. VP. I know what's coming. Mm. But the reason I can't do the same <laughs> approach to Enterprise is because it's constantly referencing real trick. So it's hard to do something real using the standalone show. And it got cancelled. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, well, I, I was going to say that even though... I'm, the original series yeah, got cancelled too, you know. Yeah, after three seasons, not four. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, but well, also, what I was, what was going to say is that I, I'm still not a thrill like um, Omni because <laughs> because I'm saying it's it's not Star Trek. He's saying it's still Star Trek, 
and he's I'm sure he's collecting from Paramount or um <laughs> <laughs> money, 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 it's a gas. I put the link in the chat. You guys got to see it's only like 30, 10 seconds long. In the, pri in the private chat, I put the link in there. It's only like maybe five or 10 seconds long. What's that for? What's that for? It didn't help. Um, Enterprises on um, UPN, which like nobody watched. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'm nobody. Do you, do you see it? Uh, Can you Jeff? name another UPN show, Jeff? Uh, seven days. Yeah, never heard of it. The oh, Twilight Zone, which was originally um, whoever the hell had it originally. CBS. Well, CBS had it originally. Yeah. What about an original show, though? Seven days. Okay, so yeah, Seth is trying to say that he wants. You've never to heard of that. Seven Days? What? Nope. It was great. Seven, days. seven Days was a good seven, series. Yeah, I liked that. Seven Days was a good series. I liked it. Yeah, me too. Good. If I did, I blocked that out my memory. A being not left to die in Seven Days to Die by Matthew. Hmm. Well, that's what <laughs> it is the same actor who played. Jonathan Ford and Secret. That's true. It did. Can yeah, you it yeah, I wanted to say the theory. The reason I asked you, Joe, the theory was is that if it were possible for Roddenberry, if he was still alive to create a fourth season, he might have done that with the animated series. Is that true? Or well, Roddenberry worked well, on the animated series. He's yeah. the one that he's the one that said animated series are not canon. So I think later on, after the animated series, I think he regretted it. I'm not sure. Mikey, well, yeah. Here's here's Roddenberry's overriding uh, uh, explanation for doing anything: he making did. money. He wanted to make money. Right. Hmm. Dude, That's there were no animated questions doing. tonight. It was so awesome. There was a whole night without any TAS. Oh, wow. I, I just realized actually, that. Actually, there was one animated question. It was from the Kirk fill in the blank category. Oh, was it? Uh, yeah, the $500 question. He was referencing Taste of Arb again, but that oh. quote was from an animated episode. It was. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Which was that one with the, not the one with War? That one? Oh, yeah. Well, the one for about War was from Taste of Arb again. Right, but the quote where he says, "Am I doing the right thing, Bones?" Once I said, "Man arose about primitiveness." Primitiveness, yeah, because yeah. I didn't recognize that. It's funny. Okay, <clears throat> that was a, that was one of the animated episodes. That's yeah. why I didn't I didn't remember it exactly. Okay, right. <laughs> and I actually Prim got primitiveness. it before you guys all <laughs> missed it. <laughs> so I actually got it. I remember it was from that animated, the animated episode. Yeah, primitiveness. So, so you got me looking at UPN episodes now, UPN shows now. <laughs> no, no, I need to start Mr. watching more TAS. That's my problem. Mr. I need to start VK? More that. So, Omni, um, mm, yes, sir. We, there, there was a period um, where um, it was when you were just before you played the final round with yes. you said, Omni. Are you there? And you went away or something? I, I was and in the other room. Yeah. I'm just wondering, were you, were you um, busy picking up your chick from Paramount or, or going out <laughs> as well? Yes, you know, I I took a stroll to the PO box just down the street at the at the at, you know at the post office, <laughs> and I put my key in and I turned and I opened the little door and inside was a check made out to made out to myself. Yeah. And, and, uh, unfortunately, the banks are closed now, but I, I do have the check in my hand, though, now. You're right. That's and, true. And did the, did the chick say, <laughs> hey, multi-gunman. Welcome, multi-gunman. Hi. And did the chick say, yes. um, along with the normal amount, you know, whatever the amount you received, did it say, is, and this is the equivalent to 30 pieces of silver in old man? No, they don't say that really anymore. Um, it does come with talking points, though. 
I, I get a list of talking points. Okay, so I, I have to say smash hit when, it, when I'm talking about uh, Star yeah. Trek uh, Puke Discovery, right? Smash when I hit it. It's smash right. when I hit it and crash it. Strange New Worlds is a groundbreaking series. I have to say that. Okay, so if you notice, I try to throw those in wherever I can. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought it was Discovery because they smashed the ship into That's the true. ground. That's true. They did smash it into the ground. You're right. Oh, God. That's right. Oh, God. Spoiler alert. <laughs> they yeah. crashed the ship. They I don't care. They I don't care about that one anymore. That's an abomination. Blasphemy. <laughs> What would you say, John? What, what is... only, it was stupid. Not only did they smash one ship into the ground, oh. they smashed two ships into the ground. But it worked. Oh, it worked. You, they saved the, the day. Plot, the, the plot said it would work. Because Michael said it would work, and that's what they did. That's that's it. Oh, God. That's how stuff gets done. Oh, oh God. Anyway, what I was saying I was, yeah, John. you can't spoil <laughs> something that's already rotten. <laughs> <laughs> Sage, that's very true, John. Sage words, John. Hi, Thank normal. you. That's very very good. Hi, normal beauty. Oh, look, <laughs> jo- oh, she closed her eyes. See, I can talk to cats. It's a catalyst. Um, Is that Mr. VP? Um, what was your? Um, I was going to ask. What do you think of my approach of enjoying strange new worlds? Do you think? I, of- I th- not I think you'll be surprised. Anymore. I'm trying to do the same thing, and I, I've said this, all, all joking and sarcasm aside, I'm trying to watch it with somewhat of an open mind and not let it bother me too much. Discovery bothers me. Yes. She yes. is insufferable. As, as Tokyo said and others have said, that's the perfect word, insufferable. I can't take yeah. Sonequa as, as Michael. No. Yeah, I don't like her. it. So the whole show just that doesn't work because word. of that. Yeah, I can't watch. I just can't. Even this season, which is actually not bad Star Trek, and they're not really, they're not really trashing the, the our Star Trek this season too much. Okay, um, but even then, it's just Give hard to watch. Time. Yeah, okay, yeah. Six episodes to go. <laughs> I'm waiting for the big thing. I'm sure the big thing will do the trick. Right, we'll destroy it. But well, so so to answer your question, a long way of saying it, Mr. VP. That's how I've been exactly how I've been watching Strange New Worlds. I'm trying to just enjoy it. Yeah, I'm trying too. to get something out of it. That, that was interesting on me and thanks for your feedback. But I actually asked John first. John enjoyed the <laughs> uh, thing is with Strange New Worlds, I watched the entire first season and yep. I thought it was painful to watch. <laughs> um, I think well, that, I, mean, even, I mean even if you put it trying to put aside all the continuity problems i don't like the characters and i mm. don't like the writing i mean i think they all all the characters act immature for example so i, I just don't oh, enjoy okay. watching the show even if i try to pretend it's not star trek okay so, so I, mean, I you you know what john i would even say that ants and mount is pike really doesn't sell it for me because you know in the movies you know in the even in the uh jj abrams kelvin alternate thing uh, Bruce Greenwood did a better Pike, and I liked him that, that way. So it's kind of sad that he never got a chance to play Pike in a TV series like that. He didn't cook as much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think Anthony Mao is a decent actor, <laughs> but he's been giving terrible material to work with. Writers, you he like barely text? does anything yeah. on the show. You like Ethan yeah, Peck? half the time yeah. he's in the kitchen. Yeah, it's all about the writers, and then you have too many of them in the kitchen, right? Or, or, uh, playing, yeah. in the, playing in the forest. <laughs> I'm strolling in the forest, writing my script. Woohoo! It's like the show's <laughs> about Spock's love life. Oh, God. <laughs> well, they've gotten away from that. Well, actually, no, they haven't. You're right. Still, oh, God. Yeah, you're right. Come on, I thought I thought that I thought the Spock and uh, your her thing in the alternate timeline movies is ridiculous, but okay. Yeah, okay. that's true. Well, look, they had actually, Chapel uh, and Spock. Actually, and Spock was never in. Was... Spock was never into Chapel in the original series. Now, Sonny, he's into her. He threw soup at her. Yeah. <laughs> now she obviously had a crush on too. him. And TOS, yeah, but, but 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 uh, TOS, right? All, but this yeah. is because this is all because we know what the characters are supposed to be. I'm talking about if you pretend it's a. Uh, now I tend to disagree here. Oh, well, Bruce Greenwood is a better trained actor, and he's got some great hair. So come on. 
<laughs> I, I have to argue with you on that, Arabic. Sorry. I am. I am interested. I, I did. I mean, even the TOS bike. Trying to answer that. So, Hang on, Mikey. Sorry. I just said I really did enjoy hearing John's answer and Omni's answer. So thank you. I thought you were asking, but I, I apologize for stepping in. I thought you were asking me, but I heard. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry for stepping right. in there. Sorry. That's all right. I, 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 after I said what I said, I thought all oh, that came across a bit rude. I'm sorry. No, Is no, that, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Mercer, what do you, what do you think about Strange New Worlds if you view it from a completely uh, different show and you just pretend it's... Yeah, that's the way I've been normal. trying. That's the way I've been trying to approach the new season because I got it for ten bucks. I said I need something to watch, and I thought the um, you spent ten right? bucks on it. Yeah, oh, ten bucks too much. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mercer. Sorry, One man's trash is trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I didn't want to subscribe to Paramount because I don't like their interface, so I'd rather just buy. Whoa, whoa, take take it easy now. Take, take it easy now. <laughs> <laughs> you may want to back that up a little bit. All right, okay. Representative. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Customer service represented. I didn't like the Kyle episode that much. I, I like what they were trying for, but I didn't like the guy that played Kirk. Um, the trial episode is better than I thought it would be. You know where she's on trial. Mm -hmm. I'm not connected. I don't think number one is a character. There's nothing to her, and yet when they put her on trial, that was a decent episode. Um, but she's a good actress, though, wouldn't you say? Rebecca yeah, Romaine. I like her. But she yeah, Rebecca remains not bad. Yeah, Stamos. Well, well, she's Stamos. Yeah, she's regular thing now. Yeah. That that she episode. She was an X Men. Yeah, yeah. That, that that episode where she and uh, what what's her name, Khan, Khan's yeah. descendant, were mm -hmm. chasing each other around the ship, firing phasers at each other, and that was stupid. Mm. Know. You don't you don't yeah. fire a dangerous That's weapon. Cool. I don't care how low the setting is. Just what, what, for play. That's fine. It's worth for a stroll in the hole without any spacesuits. It was fine. <laughs> oh, God. Well, Mercer, by the way, uh, Rebecca Remain played Mystique. Yeah. Right. In the X Men thing. And oh, about that stroll in the hall, they went to the oldest part of the Enterprise, yet that section was blown up in, yeah. in Discovery. Oh, are you <laughs> yeah. Me? Thank you. They fixed it, they patched it up. It's fine. <laughs> and that's the <laughs> oldest section. <laughs> I noticed that mistake. I did. Did you see Major Gin's video today? No. Yeah. Yeah. The robot lady in um on Discovery episode, she was surprised by Burnham's hologram thing, and then it showed all the episodes of um Discovery having holograms back when she was around. Hmm. Wow. And and why was she convinced by the fact that you know give up her life? I, I don't. I don't get that. Maybe she was in dreams. <laughs> Wouldn't pretty really much any it? Starfleet uh, officer do that? Give up their life for oh, the not mission? Jan not Janeway. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, oh, never mind. Oh, I did a I did put my hand up. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Steve. That that reminds me, Omni. You said. In the chat, the Janeway is a decorated officer. She's decorated, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 Highly I suppose, decorated. I suppose it fits because she she eventually got promoted to admiral. And how many evil admirals have we seen in Star Trek? Admiral Dowdy, <laughs> um, Admiral Admiral, what's his name? And Piggy. Admiral, what's his name? Yeah, it's good. Kennelly. He was a yeah, bad that one, one too, right? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Pressman. Pressman was pretty bad, right? Yeah. Those are bad admirals. Admirals. She fits right in. Yeah, Janeway is perfect as an admiral. And, and I don't know why. Mercer, Corruptible. And Mercer, I don't know why you like We have no evidence of that. I don't, I don't know why you like Cisco so much. He was a war criminal. He wants, He's just an he awesome wants, character. It's just you know he, the way he is. He's just awesome. I he's a war criminal, really. I, yeah. I, I, indeed. Yeah. 
Uh, John, John, you wanna you wanna chime in yeah, on that? Go ahead, John. I'd love to. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about the infamous thing where he fired those weapons at those planets. Well, those weapons didn't kill anybody; they just traded planets and prevented a war from breaking out. Yes, Therefore, exactly. ergo, he is not a war criminal. Hey, 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 well, there you go. I'm going to evacuate those planets, right? So who's to say, because he didn't give them much warning, who's to say some people didn't die on the way to the evacuation shuttle? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's their fault then. Who's yeah. typing? <laughs> Someone's clicky typing, yeah. I'm not clicky so, typing. Yeah, so I ask if, if there's a mob and the police approach that mob and say, if you don't disperse, we're going to fire tear gas, mm. and the mob stays there anyway, is it the police's fault? No. If somebody gets nope. injured by the tear gas? Please. He gets no, they gave him fair way. warning, right, he, John? That would be the correct answer. Tear gas is not so. lethal force. Tear gas is not lethal force. That bio is it a chemical or bio weapon? Some kind um, of trilithium resin I, or nonsense, whatever they're talking about, right? I, I, I'm sure Cisco could live with it. He could. <laughs> he could. Live. Yeah, I don't care yeah, what well, yeah, uh, don't, but don't, I am enjoying yeah. this debate, John. Let's keep it going. Because John, I, I know it conceded to John at one point, but but do you think everyone off the planet survived, or do you think some people might have died not getting to the sun? We have no time? idea. There's no well, way to know. based on Cisco's log he gives at the end of the episode, oh, it sounds oh. like everybody oh. just traded planets. The yeah, Cardassians he definitively in. say no one yeah. died. Right. Thanks. But he says, yeah, they just, the Marquis and the Cardassians switched planets. It was uh, like, what, 50 minutes they had to evacuate or something like that? I don't remember the exact that, 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 well, That's a pretty short amount of time. I mostly there were, there weren't that many people. One five? Sorry? One five minutes or five zero? I thought it was 50, five zero. Because they were in orbit for a while, weren't they? They were they were waiting for Eddington or something, or they were, um, or they gave him two hours to evacuate or something. They, he gave him a countdown, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's starting a countdown. But that's all you got for Cisco, just just poisoning one planet. I mean, there's so many planets; it's just one, and it was in the de oh. demilitarized zone. Who cares? It's not even in the Federation. It doesn't even matter. Hey, well, who cares? How hot were you? No wonder you're in a bog suit. <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think that Cisco, you know, should be blamed for just the one the one major flaw he did. Uh, I would actually blame oh. the Kratom from Voyager, the year from hell, where they, you know, basically redesigned planets and killed all those millions of people just to uh, achieve some kind of, you know, rule. I mean. That's that to me is war crimes. Yeah, hmm. Jeff. I, I just wanted to say I mostly communicate using obscure sci-fi movie references, mostly. What's typing? What, um, uh, I'm sure what, there's a uh, reference in there somewhere, but I'm missing it. They, they mostly come yeah, out. You're not about, supposed to miss anything. You're a librarian. <laughs> I'm not perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's from aliens, dude. <laughs> At least he admitted that. <laughs> you don't I hear... definitely am not perfect. You okay. don't hear very light music, do you? No. I hear clicking, keyboard clicking. Yeah, I hear a lot of clicking. I'm not clicking. Like a cherry Key. MX switches I, or something. I didn't, I, I didn't say you were, Mikey. I just said I hear <laughs> clicking. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> don't get defensive on me. Wait, I'm not getting hear... defensive. Do you hear clicking like right now? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. my. That must be my Minecraft then. Whoops. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't know why you'd hear it, the music though. It, it the sounds clicking. like a keyboard. It's a, it's a mechanical keyboard, like, click, like, click, like a clicky click, switch. Click, click, click. Yeah. 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 Uh, Mr. VP. I'm actually gonna you know, yield the floor to Patrick because he hasn't did much. <laughs> Conversations. Are you are you all right, Patrick? Could we? Uh, I, I'm, I'm you still. You want to comment on anything? <laughs> I don't want to dominate too much. Oh, you, you don't. Dominate. I yield to the gentleman from Holland. 
please. <laughs> Amsterdam. Well, okay. Excuse me. I'm, I'm more of a listener than uh, and when I have to when I have something to chime in, I will do. I will do so. All right. I I was paying you uh, in my title underneath. If you read it, it, says Mikey the unfortunate red shirt. I was actually paying you some homage there, Patrick. Mm, no, no, See, there not. you go, Mikey, the unfortunate red shirt below my name. Yeah, but I'm I'm wearing a TNG in uniform, so it should be a oh, yellow okay. shirt. Oh, okay. So it doesn't apply? Oh, okay. <laughs> <Indeed>. <laughs> so, well, I guess it just applies to me then. Command red. <laughs> Mercer, yeah, what right. reference did I miss? Aliens. You know, I mostly communicate in obscure sci fi references, mostly. Okay. Uh, it's been years since I've seen that film, so I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Aliens? Yeah, that's an awesome movie. Oh, oh well, I've seen it. I've seen it. I, it's just been probably 10 plus years since I've seen it. Oh, okay. Well, and speaking of references, Mercer, if you see that, you, you saw my two cats right before as an avatar. Well, yeah. we named Deja Vu after the cat from The Matrix. You know, where they're walking the stairs and he says, oh, Deja right. Vu. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he says. Yeah, so we named her after the cat. Yeah, it's cute. Good I like cool. it. You, you, your cat is a glitch in the Matrix? Yes. We have two of them. We have two of them. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, we have two of them. And do you know why, Arabic? Do you know why the red shirts turned to yellow? Yes. Tell him, Jeff. Oh, I go, go ahead, Mr. Right. VP. Go ahead, Mr. VP. Oh, um, do you want Eric to give Eric a chance to answer, or do you want me to answer? Uh, go ahead, Mr. VP. You're on the okay. panel. Um, so, so the reason they check, they switch colors, the reason I heard is that yeah, um, Patrick Stewart was unhappy with the way gold or yellow, gold flesh, yellow, Looked on him, so they switched the red and the gold. The yeah, the red and the gold around. That was the reason. That's the the the, the thing I heard. It could be wrong. I but. I've heard something very similar to that. It wasn't Patrick Stewart that didn't like it. It was the producers. Oh, okay. They didn't like him in the in the gold, so they put him in yeah. red. It, yeah. it wasn't because the, of the movies though, with the red. Uniforms, right. the Monster Maroons. It wasn't because of that. No, I, no. no I haven't heard that one. Hmm. They, they, the, they, they wanted to yeah. put him in gold, and they just didn't like how it looked on him. Wow, I never knew that. Indeed. So what about the yellow no, shirt in uh, DS9 with uh, Cisco, the uh, Avery Brooks? Did he prefer the yellow color, or was I he think more they just the carried light? on the same color scheme from Next Gen. Right, right. Yeah, they, okay. they didn't want his foot too much. If, if you think about um, Omni, was it you that asked about the Omni, uh, the Maroon? Agreed, Arabic. Mm -hmm. um, if you think about that, they were almost Maroon in the movies, so they didn't have division colors, except for the neck color. They had white for command and... and um, Right, the green and yellow yeah, and yeah, different, yeah, different yeah, turtleneck yeah. colors. I just assumed yeah. it was because people got used to the movies... And I know the movies and TV show were very separate. And I, I know Gene Roddenberry had very little to do with the movies for the most part, except for the motion picture. He probably didn't yeah, even like the right. red uniforms, to be honest with you. The white but, ones. Right. He, he liked different types of looks. But I just thought yeah, for yeah. continuity, they kind of kept the red thing going. No, you know, that, no. But that's what I always I assumed. Well, yeah. For like engineering and security, they were all red. Everybody was red. There's different, like you said, undershirts, right? And then, yeah. Ever since I watched yeah. that show, The Center Seat, I disliked Roddenberry even more. <laughs> Tell us why, um, Thomas. Well, um, wasn't the guy that did the motion picture? He kept like rewriting him all the time. I, I can't remember. It was one movie that he was doing, and um, was it Bob Eisner who used to work for them back then? He told the writer that he promised him that he would not take any Roddenberry scripts. So the writer sent sent it to his script to Roddenberry's secretary, but then she sent Roddenberry's stick to Bob Eisner. 
Yeah, that was uh, Iger, Bob Iger. Uh, Bob that. Iger, Iger, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, so what is Sin to Seek, Thomas? I've never, never seen Sin to Seek. Is it a one-off documentary? Uh, it has, like, multiple parts. They go through, like, um, all the shows and stuff. Okay. Do they? Because I, I enjoy behind the scenes information, like, trivia to do with the the shoots and stuff. That doesn't bother me. But I, mm. I really don't like um, behind the scenes stuff that shows, <laughs> shows how. <laughs> like microphone enough. shadows and, you know, yeah. gaffer tape. camera stands and gaffer tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. Documentaries that show, oh, we use this, we, we reuse this shit here and this shit there. Does, does that documentary um, show a lot of visual effect behind the scenes or is it just tales about how the people acted and so forth? Oh, it's a lot of just like um, how they made the shows, the ideas that they came up with. It also mentions in the TNG episode that Ron Beer was against having Worf on the ship until he saw him. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Species. Well, and um, also remember they used a lot of different. They used a lot of same same kind of sets. Now I don't know if that's because of lazy. Yeah, this, this, is, this is something Mr. VP doesn't want to hear. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah. Laziness. No, we really it, don't. it ruins the illusion for him. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Give me, give, me a, give me a thumbs up when we're done, guys. No, oh, it, we, there's nothing. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Nothing there. You're okay. He's You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. All right. Thank you. I, I haven't watched the center seat, but it seems interesting. I think I may want to check it out. Uh, did you guys Speak see it. the chaos on the bridge? Have you seen that that documentary? Yeah, that was a good doc. Uh, I no, I haven't seen it. Uh, you I've have to it. watch it. You have to. It, it's it's basically a one one and a half hour movie about season one of the Next Generation. And how and, and I think Shatner produced this. This is a Shatner production. A Shatner it, production, right? It is sh so chaotic with what Roddenberry was so doing with the writers. It all, took, it, it all took place in a dream. No, no, that because that, <laughs> <laughs> the dream was in 1988, right? Right. This is 1987, so we're a little bit before the dream happened. We're still we're still awake. <laughs> no. Okay. I'll, I'll think the three the three documentaries I have seen. Uh, one of the, the one of the first ones I saw was Trekkers. And that's where you went across the country with the the different Star Trek conventions, and Shatner was on board and he was there, and he helped out a special needs person I think that you know wanted to meet him and uh, and I thought that was very cool and you know it was one of the conventions that 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 happened at. And the other film I saw after that was Free Enterprise, and I thought Free Enterprise, okay, that's interesting. You know, with all the economic parts of it and everything. And then the last one I saw, which I think is the best one I've seen, is Shatner did the captains. The captains, and right. He, yeah, and he did all the captains, including <clears throat> Chris Pine, you know, who came and did the reboot. So, yeah, I, that was cool. I like this, came, this came right after the captains, and it was the same. It was just a little bit of a different kind of style to it, but really, really good. Yeah, You guys have to watch Chaos on the Bridge if you haven't seen it. Yeah, the captains, the of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's streaming before. on Netflix, I think, or YouTube for free right now. You don't have to pay for it, I believe. Oh, okay, cool. Chaos and, and I'll remember yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'm, it. I'm really surprised that a lot of you haven't seen it because it is it's so enlightening about bridge. what happened. Yeah, Chaos on the Bridge. It is, <laughs> I think, streaming. When think did on you YouTube. put it out? Yeah, and you oh, said yeah. Shatner directed it? Shatner produced it. Oh, produced it when, and, and, when, and, and narrated it. Yeah, it's it, it's it's him. It's yeah, no, but I mean, when did it come out? Twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen. Oh, okay, ten years. Okay. Yeah. Um, Thomas, the seem to see documentary you talked about. Um, where is that stream, or where did you get to see it? Um, I bought it on DVD. Oh, okay. I think it's streaming somewhere, though. I'm not sure. I'll take a look around. <laughs> Okay. Omni, the one I found uh, is yeah, fifty minutes long, five zero. That, yeah, it could be. It's on YouTube, free with ads. Yeah. You can watch it yeah. right now. Okay. Which is, cool. William Shatner presents Chaos on the Bridge, totally free. 
you, you got to. I mean, you just, it's just—it's going to open your mind because because Roddenberry was really all over the place, and oh yeah, he was. It, you could you and, that's, and you could see it, and he visual you could visualize it. They interviewed some of the actors, some of the writers from season one, and it was just nuts what they were doing. Oh, oh, yeah. There was a lot yeah. of disputes. There was a lot of disputes on set that I remember reading about, uh, especially. Well, even the even the best episode that most people regard, you know, the city on the edge of forever with the guardian of forever. Yeah, yeah. City and of forever. Uh, right. I mean, you know, we know that Harlan Ellison right worked on that, but there was like a huge dispute, like between him and and Roddenberry and a few other writers about how they were going to come across it, and that you know, or how they were going to put it, you know, to uh, filming it and. You know, Harley came up with a brilliant idea and said, "Well, you know what? We could make this like a time machine, you know, like a time travel thing, and uh, and it could work. You know, I could take him to certain places." And I thought that's pretty interesting because uh, I thought for sure there wasn't really a debate, but I guess there was. There was a lot of writers that disputed it. So, I Center guess, Seat yeah. is streaming on Amazon right now, Prime yeah. Video, right? Yeah, I just saw that. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. But no, I'm gonna check out the chaos on the bridge thing for sure. You have to. I can't. I really can't believe you guys haven't seen it. Yeah, please check I'm it sorry, out. Sorry, Omni. I'm old. No, I, I, I'm just. I thought I just assumed all the Trek I, I've seen nerds have watched it. About it is that the right. Penske podcast did a did a video commentary of, of chaos on the bridge, and, and you could actually see them watching it with them on the screen. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's so, cool. Yeah, is, like is someone screaming. Uh, I think it came from Mr. Vice President's mic. I, I muted his mic. He has a triple <laughs> or two back there. Yeah. Maybe he saw a picture of the Enterprise NX-01 and sort of screaming. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that in the uh, Mr. Vice probably. President, I hope everything's okay. Check out yeah, the link okay. on me that I just put in private chat. Check out the link I just put in private chat. Let's see. It, it, it's uh, these guys at Penske Podcast talking about uh, that movie, Chaos on the Bridge. Mm -hmm. And I think they, I don't know, I don't remember if they watched it during this video or like if they're actually doing commentary or if they're just talking about it, but they do show clips from the movie or maybe the whole movie. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. You probably should watch it first before you watch the commentary, but yeah. Okay. He, got, I, uh... I, I, he did every episode of Star Trek. Pretty much. These two guys? I, yeah. 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 I went ahead and the subscribe video file, so I'll get a chance to watch it. Thank you, Mercer. I'm going to watch the center seat, too. I've never actually seen that before. I'm going to check that out. Yeah. I'm going to check that Speak, out myself. Speaking of commentary, Mercer, I agree with you that they were on Earth. They were not on the holodeck. Yeah. Right. I agree with that. If they were on you the holodeck, as someone, as someone claimed, well... We don't see them leaving Earth. I'm like, you don't see them leaving the holodeck either. Yeah. You heard yeah. about that, Jeff? What's that? You heard about that? That whole thing with the Earth and the holodeck? You heard about that? What, with Nemesis you're talking about? I, yeah. Yeah, I heard, I heard discussion last... Well, I read discussion last night on Discord about it. I think they were on Earth. I think they were in Alaska. Yeah, that's what the script says. That's what the commentary says. That's what Memory Alpha said until somebody altered it. Um, so I, 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 that's what Hello, I said Steve. too. They Welcome back. Reception on Earth, then they went to Beta Z. Yeah, that's and what I, that's why I understand too. I, I mean, it makes Mr. sense. I never thought it was Earth though. I just assumed it was the holodeck. It was I, a I never, uh, Mr. Mr. VP. So, um, I apologize for the sound that sounded like screaming. What it was is I've got a new. A relatively new wheelchair compared to the one you've seen most of the time at. And the tilting mechanism that I use to tilt and then push myself up in the seat is a lot louder and it does make a horrible noise. It's a bit like a drill bit, kind of, um, oh. or deep drill when it goes up and down. So that's what you guys heard. That's what we hear. Oh, okay. okay. I, I did mute it. At one point, 
Yeah, I should have remembered to mute myself before I did it. So you don't have to lie. Okay. You're you're torturing a hobbit. I I, I could tell. <laughs> 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 Only because he's in New Zealand. Is that why you just said that? <laughs> New Zealand. He's in though. Mordor. Mm, he's not in Mordor. We talking too much about the uh, the backstage yeah. stuff. Thank you for your support, guys. <laughs> Thank you for your support on that whole thing. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, I'm interested. What? What movie or episode were you talking about where Earth is the Holodeck? I didn't Nemesis. Get... Star Nemesis. Trek Nemesis, Nemesis, the the reception for Riker and Troy, and Troy. for their wedding. for their marriage, their wedding. Yeah. Oh yeah, did, the did the reception the take place in the holodeck or was it on Earth? You yeah. mean when you mean in the deleted scene, or you mean in the... No. No, no the scenes we see in the movie, where Data sings and... Blue, blue skies. skies. Yeah, blue skies. Yeah, there you go, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a roast toast. And a Picard <laughs> toast. Yeah, Picard to toasts them. You know, he makes a toast to them. And... Yeah. First, um, make them. I think we I see Wesley do. there, and Worf yeah. has the hangover, the headache. Yeah, yeah. yeah. should be illegal. And he said oh, Irving Berlin. <laughs> Guinan's there. Guinan is there. I didn't really there. think about it before. I guess I thought like Omni. I didn't think about it in much detail, but I, right. like Omni, I think I assumed Heidi, but I didn't really. Because they never said that Enterprise I, was at Earth. The Enterprise rarely is at Earth, so they, I never, they never said they were at Earth, right? They just cut to the ship somewhere in space, and then Janeway calls and sends them on a mission to Romulus, right? I mean, it's not like if you saw the, if all right, if you saw the Enterprise around Earth, you'd say, okay, sure, they're they're on the planet, but. Yeah. They never said it, did they? Maybe I missed it. I don't. I don't know. I, I always assumed it was Earth because Worf was the there. Commentary, all the commentary tracks, mm. or commentary tracks say they're on Earth. Okay, but Worf say... joined them on the Insurrection too, on the Enterprise, though. I mean, right? So, mm, yeah, but there they said that it was because of the or whatever. I don't remember what it was, but uh, they, they, they kind of glossed over the line. You know, you don't really hear exactly what. It is. The reason is, yeah. Mr. Worf, yeah. what the hell are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> and even if they, even if they Worf, were on the holodeck, Worf. wouldn't they leave the holodeck and show them leaving it? Yeah. You would think, You'd think so, but, but they don't really show them leave Earth either. I don't know. J John was what? about to say something, though, right? John, what you. Say, oh, yeah. I, just from watching the, the movie before I looked up any additional information, okay. I assumed they were on the holodeck. One of the reasons I believe that because, like I said, when they switch the ship, it's just flying through space somewhere, right? Uh, but I then later, when I looked at the script, I saw that the script said it was on Earth. I was like, huh, that's interesting. I never really got that impression just from watching the movie, but uh, you know, see, I, I, say either way. I had the exact opposite reaction when I first saw it in the theater. I thought, oh, they're on Earth, okay, that's crazy. crazy. I, I never remember. thought that, I never thought that for a minute. The director mm -hmm. wasn't he, like not a Star Trek fan anyway. Well, no, yeah, Stuart yeah, Barron. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he probably didn't even go the Hall of What now? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think they should have made it more clear either way which one they meant. They could have put just just character generation on the screen, right? You know, you know something. That's a cheap way to do it. They could have showed the Enterprise yeah. in orbit of Earth. That would have been an easier way to do it too. I mean, just to show that okay, they're at Earth, but they're so rarely at Earth yeah. that it. You know, it didn't make sense. I didn't even and also, think. why why would Riker do that on a holodeck, not like actual where he's from? Because they're in deep space. Like the yeah, Enterprise yeah. is always on the rim, right? Somewhere. It's never. This is the reception, so it makes sense that Riker would want something in his home state of Alaska. Then why didn't do do the wedding on the holodeck and pretend as Beta Z? Mm. They wanted to do the traditional Beta Z ceremony where they're naked. But he wanted the ceremony, the uh, reception, to take place in his hometown of in Alaska. That that makes sense to me that it would be in Alaska. I never even knew that was Alaska, though. I didn't even like. 
how did you know? It looked like a nice place to be. But I didn't know that was Alaska. I actually saw a lake in the background. Like I, I didn't know. Yeah, I'm just saying that it makes sense to me. Uh, yeah, Alaska makes sense to me as well, Mercer. And, and the oh. commentary, um, the director specifically says that when he starts with a very big close up of Picard's face, and you see the background behind him, he, he's trying to fool you into thinking it is the ship. And then he mm. pans out. He deliberately said he's trying to fool you to think it's the ship until you pan oh. out and see the setting. Well, he did. He did too good of a job. John, did you think he was in a, that was Alaska, or did you think it was just a, a pretty place somewhere, like a fantasy place on the holodeck or something? I yeah, mean, my I, my initial impression from watching the movie that it was on the holodeck. Yeah, and not a specific place, not like this is Alaska, right? You didn't get that feeling, right. did you? Oh, me neither. Yeah, I didn't. No. Well, what I've I thought been to Alaska, was, but I don't know. Yeah, when I first saw it in the theater, my thought was. That they must have expanded either ten forward, or they could have like put it into a holodeck situation. But the reception afterward would have been held in ten forward. The whole reception itself, with the table and everything, because they did. But it was outside. That they were... Okay. Well, I mean, it to me it looked like they did it some expansion. And, and it just the on ten forward. Even have a ten forward. They have a ten. That's forward. a good. That's a good point. They Does the Enterprise E have a ten forward? Yeah, I think Which they apparently do. Apparently, we don't even know how many decks they have. Which coincidentally <laughs> was named after a bar. Well, they, they could have had a. <laughs> what I'm saying is they could have had a warehouse deck because we really never knew. We, we did know. We did know that they did have a lounge. We knew that. Okay, if somebody had mentioned it before, they had a lounge. Somewhere in, like, I think it was an insurrection, they might have said something. But I know that in Nemesis, they would, if they did have a lounge, they would have went ahead and expanded on that. And then they would have had that set up for the reception, for the wedding reception. So Maybe. But yeah, but the again, car, we don't know for sure if Guinan is still on, on the ship. We didn't or see Guinan actually yet? serve drinks or anything, but, you know, but they could have. Yeah, yeah, Picard wore that fancy headdress in that episode, that movie. Shunting Shatar or Shakar? How do you pronounce that? Four. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasis on the Ching <laughs> and the four. Yeah. The Ching and the four, yeah. And then, of course, he has that famous line where he says, uh, don't you remember a time when we were explorers? <laughs> What's her name? Yeah, now, now I know this is not uh, a final say, but Memory Alpha article on ten forward does not mention that the Enterprise E has a ten forward. Really? It looked wide enough to be, to accommodate one. Well, remember, ten forward was on the Enterprise D. Right, it's San Francisco. Yes, the Enterprise correct. E correct. is a different ship. Yeah, they they, yeah. they would have. They could have called it something else. Crew yeah. 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 Oh, you know what? Here's here's one uh, idea that you're knowing it's on the ship, because they said after the reception. Remember, they were going to fly to Beta Z, and have their ceremony there where they're all naked. So they must be yeah. on the inside the ship somewhere to be able to fly to Beta Z. So well, well, the next scene up they, to they the were ship, and they, they were on the bridge. Fly they're... off to indeed Beta and go from Earth to, to Beta Z. Because Worf was on the bridge at that point, right? I mean, he Worf was. was on they the were, the point. Yeah, yeah, they were. Mr. VP. If Riker would want the reception on his in, in his hometown. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree, Mercer. Someone said, I think it was Patrick said, "We don't know if of was still on the ship." I, I, I'm going to say I hope so because if Kinda wasn't on the ship, the, the poor crew doesn't. Good point, have Arabic. The poor yeah. crew doesn't have a decent counselor on board. <laughs> <laughs> what about Counselor Troy, Mr. VP? You're forgetting about her. Com <laughs> Commander Troy. Yeah. She's not a very good counselor. Yeah, no? She's too busy uh, crashing the ship. What's she's too busy crashing. Oh, if Mr. <laughs> T was here, he would have mm -hmm. something to say to you. Oh, I didn't know this thing was a but setting aside, setting aside the the whole holodeck on Earth, why was Wesley there if he is a traveler? 
Well, that's something else. traveled right? there. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, it depends on what, what supplemental material you want to look at. Because if you look at like deleted scenes and stuff, supposedly he was going to be on the Titan with a Riker, and that's one of the reasons he was there. So he rejoined humanity. He left. Well, he was. Wasn't he in yeah. a Starfleet uniform? Right. Yeah, he was. Dress uniform, the white one. So oh, it's. Yeah. Well, the deleted scene says, nice to see you back in uniform, Mr. Crusher, or something. Oh, yeah. Didn't Picard say that? Like, yeah, that was a deleted yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah I, was gonna, I was going to say that um, up until up until that horrible series, Rick Cannon, like mm -hmm. all the... Hey, Mercer, Normal, Meat, oh, oh. Egypt, or I mean, yeah, Moon Pie. This is Moon Pie. <laughs> well, Mr. VP, what were you saying? I'm sorry, go ahead. That's all right. Um... Up until New Trick ruined it in Pucard. <laughs> you have Pucard and Puke Discovery? There's two Puke shows on New Trick? Yeah. Yeah. Three, 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 even. <laughs> three. Anyway, up until. Sorry, up until. Um, Puke New Worlds. Thank you, Mercer. Chili liked seeing, uh, <sighs> liked seeing Normal there. That was cute. Let I love finish, please. I Come on. Mr. VP, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, um, Mr. VP. Sorry. Um, up until up until season I can't remember if it was two or three of Picard. Um it was actually well established that 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 Weasley stopped traveling yeah, with the traveler and he rejoined yeah. Starfleet. And, and that, that's what I always thought until that yeah. season came and out. I, I believe he, by that film, he held the rank of Lieutenant Junior Grade, although I'm not as confident on that detail. But then, then Picard, as, as New Trek does, doesn't give a damn about Canon or what came before, just thought, oh, we're just going to ignore um, Nemesis and we're going to. Say that he never stopped being a traveler after the episode Junior Jim. They acknowledge Nemesis and Picard in season one when they find B4, they acknowledge it. Just not uh, the Wesley's part. Yeah. Just yeah. well, we did, did Wesley appear in season one or season two? In season right. one of Picard, two. they actually show you B4 yeah. in the drawer. Well, yeah, all I can all I can say is New Trek is all over the place. They're very inconsistent with what they consider what is canon or not. Which is why Strange New <laughs> World is as I'm concerned is a standalone sci-fi show that just happens to have a similar name ship, similar name people. They're not they're not Star Trek. They're just they're just interesting um, Well you can say interesting or groundbreaking, either yeah. one would work. Yeah. I yeah. I, I personally yes, yeah, Steve. I personally breaking the ground that, in interesting ways. <laughs> yeah, I would say Steve that Star Trek continues. I've seen all the episodes, and I think for sure it's a great fan film. It's a great fan film series, and it's a wonderful homage to the original series. It yeah, honors. I'd agree, I'd agree with that, Patrick. Mm -hmm. um, I like sorry, no, Patrick, um, any new track. Uh, I agree with that, Mikey. Um, oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, that's good. It really so is. Ervic, Ervic, I'm glad Wesley was not in Picard season three because Amen. he was horrible in season two. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> he <laughs> kind of he forgot how to act. Yeah. yeah, he walked on the set he, and he reached to the choir. He didn't know how to act anymore. Yeah, he no, he was just smiling. And, yeah. Like a goofball. Yeah, it was goofy. Who, who so, should have been on Picard season three? Miles yeah. O'Brien. That would have been Miles nice. O'Brien. There we go. Yeah, there any, any of the DS9 characters? Forget. It. I mean, right? Oh, well, well, no, because he was on Next Gen. That's true. He could have been yeah, on the bridge was. with them. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. He could have been the one that discovered the transporter. That's, That's yeah. true. Yeah, they brought back Roe Ro Laren. They can't bring back Miles or Chief Chief O'Brien. That's a good point. Yeah. It's probably because he didn't want to do it. He could have been busy. He's actually doing a lot of stuff. He's a, yeah, yeah, he, he is a busy actor. Does, yeah. Yeah, but, but, but he does Shakespeare and Broadway and stuff, so yes. 
I, I did I did see an interview with Colmini and he didn't want to come back to Star Trek. Uh, this was several years back, but he had enough. Yeah. yeah. Like Beltran yeah. had enough, right? It's like, now nah, I'm done. I'm not doing well, this anymore. Beltran right? had well <laughs> Beltran came back. He, he yeah. started yeah. Prodigy. He started yeah, Prodigy. voice at, at, voice Danny. work for Prodigy. Elizabeth yeah. Bennett who wrote Danny, he plays Shelby. Um she looked pretty old, even though she's not that old. She used to give her gray oh, hair yeah. Did they bring Age. did they bring back the actress that originally played Shelby? Oh, yeah. Uh, they did. Yeah, it was her. Brian Dennehy's was, daughter. Okay. Right. Brian Dennehy's daughter, the famous actor from First Blood. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Brian mm -hmm. Dennehy played the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, he did. in uh, First My Blood. My dad was yeah. friends with Brian. My dad was friends with Brian in high school. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Isn't he from Chicago or something? Where, where is he from? Shamanad High School is in New York somewhere, right. so I think it's from New York. Oh, Shamanad, well, okay, yeah. Well, my mother, my mother went to the same high school in the Bay Area that uh, OJ attended. Oh wow! And he just recently passed OJ Simpson. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. What, what is Picard trying to say that, that that Wesley? All right, so we forget about Nemesis. I'm just trying to process this in my head. You had him disappear with the Traveler in what is a Journey's End in Next Generation. And then Picard never happened. I mean, P Nemesis never yes. happened. So, are the travelers the the supervisors or the guard? What do they call them? The the what they what are they called exactly? The the agents like like Gary Seven. Is he a traveler? Yeah, no, I think it's a different species, but they're well, similar. Well, in Picard season two, they're trying to say they're the same people, but they're clearly not the same people. That's what was I, it wasn't different. working. Yeah, I couldn't understand yeah. it. I didn't. Guardian? I, what were they called? Guardians? Is that what they were trying to? What were they called again? Uh, mm -hmm. I thought it was like supervisor. Yeah, supervisor. Supervisor. Was it supervisors? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, looking up on Memory Alpha there, uh, Jeff. Maybe you could tell us. I, I I don't really remember. Supervisor sounds right, but you know. So so Wesley was with the same people that Gary Seven was supposed to be with, right? That that's what they were trying to do. Is that? Yeah, I, think I that don't was their know. But I then, thought that, uh, that they were more the, uh, the the persons that were in charge of the the Gary Sevens and such. Okay, he's he's with but, them, right? But so yeah. what about the traveler? Who's the, who's he then? Is the, the, is that species then in charge of protecting the timeline? I suppose is that what they do? The Tau Alpha C folks. Tau Alpha C. <laughs> But if that's so, that's totally inconsistent with what the traveler said, because he was always about well, we're not supposed to interfere, mm -hmm. we're supposed to let them solve their own problems. So it makes no sense that they would be the people in charge of the supervisors who are trying to help Earth sort out their problems. Got it. All right. Got it. Yeah, it, it didn't work in my brain either. I thought it was just me. I'm like, I don't understand what they're doing with this. I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, who is more powerful, the Q continuum or the uh, travelers? Well, I'm pretty sure that'd be the Q. Yeah. You? Yeah. Okay. According to Memory Alpha, off. Wesley was not a supervisor, but he was with the other travelers, and they were responsible for dispatching. The it's just they tried to tie up too much stuff. With it. Like Picard's <laughs> problem, the problem with the series of Picard is it's trying to be too much like e Easter eggs for older fans, but it's not really a good story. You know what I mean? Like the older fans want a good story, you know, not just like a bunch of continuity tie-ins. You know, but most Star Trek people could give two hoots about Gary Seven. Like that was a one-off episode. Yeah. They were trying to do a spin-off show right and, and, and it, it was a, yeah it was a backdoor what they call it a backdoor spinoff back pilot pilot, yeah. pilot backdoor back pilot back it was a backdoor pilot yeah and yeah yeah most most characters that could care most star trek fans could care less about gary seven and his cat and and well <laughs> i i liked his cat isis was cool <laughs> what is that i knew you were gonna say that mikey in, they're trying to more interested in making it all work <laughs> and making it black cool. cats are cool they're, yeah. they're, they're, they weren't interested in making it compelling. They just wanted okay. to make it work. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Uh, that's the wrong uh, franchise. Yeah. yeah, and it's typo. 
because he is cute doesn't make you are. <laughs> <laughs> nice Bond reference, though. I like that. <laughs> Arabic said the traveler aliens have little to do with the supervisors or the watchers. Yeah, I, I agree That's with that. Right. I, I agree with that too. Yeah. I, don't, I just didn't understand what they were trying to do there. I don't get it either, but I don't think they knew what they were doing either. So exactly. And, and what about what about Daniels, like from Enterprise? Like that that was more of a he watched the timeline too, right? He kind of Yeah. Well if, if there was yeah, tiny, from the third, time he things. came from the thirtieth century, right, Omni? So he could have yeah. been very well a traveler from the 30th century sent back to talk to archer and you know that was, was that before or after the burn oh my god uh, before uh, i'd say before, before. 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 Uh, then why can't they go back that to time? Would be the 2900s yeah. <laughs> yeah, 29th century okay Maybe I thought it was uh, no. 2900s 30th century would be the 2900s Got it. Okay, so 30th century. Okay. Because we're in the 21st century now. Right. We yeah. are? Mr. VP. They... Yeah, <laughs> let me ask. Maybe I can so, ask John. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead, Steve, if you're going first. Go ahead. Far, far be it for me to encourage discussion about Enterprise. <laughs> but, uh, I believe... great, great show. I, you should see I all believe... the episodes. Whatever. I believe. Again. <laughs> and again. And again. Go ahead, I, believe, Mr. I believe that Daniels probably worked for the same organization that the um, the time time supervisors. Um, I can't remember their their proper organization name, but the same people that. We saw a Voyager on you. Braxton and Relativity and such. Yeah. But they were from the 27th century, weren't they? Or 28th century? 28th century? Yeah, 28th century. Captain Braxton, right? Braxton, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that organization could have existed for a long time. Well, and don't break. Sorry, I checked. Daniels is actually from the 31st century. Century. Thirty first. Interesting, century. isn't that when Discovery jumped in right around that? Uh, well, they oh, went to what the thirty second century. Thirty second century. But the burn yeah. happened in the thirty first. Hmm. Interesting. Think. Interesting. 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 Hmm. Yeah. And, and how burn, come? Oh my God. And how, then burn. how come these Discovery oh. people and and that Starfleet now that they work for can't time okay. travel? I have something very important to say. <laughs> I have to say. pause this. I have to pause this. I have something very important to say, and I'm yes. not even joking. This is for Jeff, right. but it's also for everybody else. Christopher Nolan's Interstellar sets IMAX 70 millimeter release for the 10th anniversary this fall. Wow. Cool. There you go. 70 this millimeter. Fall. The real 70 millimeter, right? The film. Yay. For this fall, I'm just reading the headline. I read it a couple days ago too, but I'm so just that's like ten theaters across the country still have seventy millimeter projectors. So good luck trying to find those. <laughs> but be able to find it in regular or whatever. <laughs> the point is, you'll be able to see it on the big screen again. Jeff, I, I, I thank you. I just found the article, and it's actually playing or it did play this week at select theaters across the country. Oh, I heard they were playing Spider-Man movies this week. Too, or this past couple weeks, I, I I just could not go this week. It was just bad timing for me. But maybe you can go this fall. Maybe, and maybe it'll play closer to me. I would have had to drive three hours to see it. You guys are talking about Star Trek: The Motion Picture, right? No, we're talking. No, about we're Inter talking about the movie Interstellar. Oh, Interstellar. Okay. Well, you drove to see it the eclipse, Jeff. Because <laughs> they're bringing back the motion picture. Here okay, Thomas, another, Th Thomas, that, Sorry. that happened on my day off for one, and it was only a two hour drive. <laughs> I've seen Interstellar in, in, in 70. It's amazing. It is a big I, difference. Yeah, so have I. Oh my God. And, and if I was going to go see Interstellar this week, I would have had to go on Wednesday night or Thursday night or Saturday. And guess what? We were short staffed this week, so I couldn't take off if I wanted to. Hmm. You're, you're that important, Jeff. 
Just say Kapla a lot. They'll think <laughs> you have a Yeah, but I just pointed it out just to try to show you that it's coming back. I was just trying to help. That's all. I, I, mean, I know. I appreciate that very much, yeah. Mercer. Thank you. Because yeah. I was unaware. And Mr. VP. Speaking of IMAX, um, I, I had the very pleasurable and fun experience watching uh, June Part 2 in the uh, in an IMAX theater in New Zealand last week, it was awesome. It was really awesome. What was that again? June part two. Oh, um, I didn't like doing part two. I like doing part. Yeah, one. I like doing part two. Yeah. Did you say yeah, you didn't like it? We well, we saw it uh, when we saw Doom Part Two here uh, in Canada in uh, Toronto or Scarborough. We saw it in a theater just above a regular theater. It was a, what they called an ultra theater. Not not like a D-box one, but like just below a D-box. But we got the full you know, surround sound and everything. It was really cool, yeah. Melissa, cool. did you say you didn't like Dune Part 2? Exactly. I did not like Dune Part 2, but I did like Dune Part 1. The reason why, I didn't why? like Dune Part... There's a lot of things I did not like about Dune Part 2. One was... The pacing was just way off. There'd be nothing happening. For, and I liked the pacing of the first one because they had all the time in the world that just told the story and had a great cadence to it. Cadence is the key with pacing, you know, a steadiness to it. But this is like, okay, nothing's happening. Then there's going to be a big two-minute action scene, and then nothing's happening. And then he'd be, like, exchanging messages with the emperor before the emperor showed up, like, on these little scrolls. And it just seems like, okay, this happened instantly, even though it's, like, message by paper right and then it's like the, the guy tells him hey why don't you guys spend two weeks in the desert it felt like one night you know just the paper <laughs> was so bad and, and like there was a shot right before um um thanos is got uh, thanos yeah uh uh josh brolin right, yeah. right the guy that plays drax right before he died there was a shot of the two ornithopters bombing the place and what I liked about the ornithopters in the first movie was that they looked so real. So when this shot comes in, it's like a really long shot. It looks all fake. It looked so digital to me. I was so disappointed that they just said, let's just make it all digital. Let's, make, let's just make it look fake. It, it was so, it was such a, a terrible, like the entire set for the bad guys, like pyramid looking face looked like tinfoil. It was so bad. I couldn't believe I was watching a Dune movie because the first one, everything looked real. Everything felt real. And, and it was so intense. And yet this movie was just awful. It just Mercer, 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 never watched the original Dune movie. No, I'm talking about the Dune part one. with the, yeah. yeah, don't watch the original one. Well, I've seen the original. The original is fine because it was 1983 or something. You 84. Know, Whatever you know, the point is, I look like. For example, I'll give you an example of what I mean. I'm you know, I am a diehard Dune fan. I read all the Frank Herbert books and I read his son's right. book also. Well, so I'll I, give you an I, example of what I mean. In Dune yeah. Part One, what, what, like when the Bene Gesserit ship lands on um, Caladan, I think the name of the planet is. Because I didn't read the Caladan. Book. Yes, right. you just see like you see it taking off, and there's like wind and rain, and it's, but it's very dark. And it's just the feeling that you get when you're watching that shot with the music playing in the background. It sounds like whispering. That's what I loved about the first movie, the way the music worked out yes. with every scene that they shot. The second movie, the pacing was so off that I couldn't get into it. I just could not get into it. I tried. It was mm. so... It just didn't work um, visually for me. I'm really sorry to hear that, Mr. Yeah. Oliver. What did you pronounce um, though? Yeah, maybe. No, I was. Can I? Can I go ahead and try to explain it, Mercer? Um, yeah, I'm listening. I'll Dune, okay, Denis, okay. Denis Villeneuve, of uh, Villeneuve, decided to uh, take. He took from the original '84 Dune, okay, which covered a lot of ground. But uh, there was actually, you know, there was actually one version which Lynch didn't touch until later because he really had to cut down a lot of scenes from it. There's, a, there's like a four-hour version of Dune I saw 
that has a director's name of Alan Smithy. That's a pseudo name for, you know, a director that really doesn't exist and they couldn't figure out who it was because there were several people that put that one together. But it really does go into the entire history. Now, when you move forward to Denise uh, Dune Watt Part 1, he is only just taking from the very beginning, like the Children of Dune and the books like that, and he's starting that. So he's cut like the 84 movie in half. So when Suzanne and I went to see Dune Part 2, that's just a continuation of that. And then Dune Part 3 is supposed to go from beyond where they were there on Arrakis. And they're going to move on from there because Moadib is in charge now, technically. So, yeah, they, 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 they just split it in half. That's why Doom Part 1 and 2 are seem like inconsistent. I And I totally get it. I understand why you're yeah. saying that. So, they, yeah. they, also, they introduced a lot of new characters in Dune Part 2, like the whole black and white sequence on um, Gish, uh, um, uh, Gaia, Gaish, not Gaish, uh, Getty Prime. Getty. Getty, Getty Prime. It, was just, yeah. it didn't look good at all. And, and, and they basically, all, all that whole 20-minute sequence did was say, oh, this guy's a badass with a knife. That's all it said to me. Like, I know he's an important character, but the scene just seemed so out of place in the movie. And then, like, they introduced the Emperor. Like, they introduced Florence Pugh's character. They introduced the Emperor. It was just so much that just didn't feel right. And I'm just talking about how it felt. Because I respect Dune as a science fiction story. But I didn't enjoy the first one because the story. The story is sound. But it, I wasn't into the story so much as the, the sights and the visuals and the music. And as long as the story was decent, I was good. But but uh, the the second one just didn't have the right pacing to it. That's mainly what it is. It just was all over the place, and it visually, it just wasn't as uh, enchanting. Like like I wasn't into it. I just that's yeah, you know. and which is understandable. Now what they could do, what they should do, is take Doom Part One and Two and put it together and sell it as a two you know the two movies together. And then if you watch they those two movies all together. together, I'd have they a better film them together, though. They didn't film them together, and you can tell. That's what I said. Did. But if they do that, the, when they put them out on DVD, that would be great to put right. the two of them together. No, you, you don't see the difference in what I'm saying. You know, like Lord of the Rings, they filmed the, the uh, basic shooting. They didn't do it all at once, but they filmed all the basic shooting at once. Right. With these movies, they greenlight part one, they went to see how it did, and then they greenlit part two, and so he had to shoot that movie separately they should have shot them both together because then it yes i better. agree that that on on that i agree with you yes i agree well remember when dune part one came out first it was just called dune yeah you know they changed it That's to dune right. part one i didn't know right. yeah maybe they did I, I don't remember that the point is they did shoot the whole first one and release it before they got the second one even greenlit well that and was even before picture. they got it approved right before they did the second one did he even said so? He that's said why, it didn't, that's didn't why the ornithopters didn't look as good because in the first one they took so much time to get them to look like helicopters or something like okay. so real. And in the second one they went all yes. digital with them, and, Did and it was just it didn't look as good. No. Well, what a different else than you do in part one and do in part two because I love them both. I didn't. I did enjoy uh, Dune Part 1 very much. I thought it was very well done, and I was excited about Part 2. I think yeah. Part 2 had some good features to it. I think, for example, there was good acting, and the, a lot of the visuals were very impressive. But as a uh, book purist, I didn't like some of the changes that they made to the story and to the characters. Uh, fair enough. See, I, I, I like the... Uh, John, I like the sandworms though. The sandworms were done a lot better than in the original movie. Totally. I haven't seen the second one yet. Oh, okay, okay, well, the sandworms are sorry, awesome. Sorry, I'm just telling you. <laughs> those sandworm sorry, scenes are, are just great. I, I love those sandworm scenes. You were saying, Mr. Sorry. Vice President? Sorry, Thomas. I usually be careful about spoilers and I the last if people have seen it before I talked about it. So well, I, I hope I didn't spoil it. it. I don't think you really did many spoilers, though. Okay. 
Um, like Mercer was just um, talking about how it looked. That's not really a spoiler. So. That's good. That's good. Um, um, yeah, I'm try I was going to say something in response to John. Um, so, John, you said you enjoyed that one. Oh, but as a book purist, you didn't like the change of the book. See, I'm, I'm at a disadvantage because of my reading difficulties. I would never be able to read the book in, the book in my life because it's the trilogy is massive. Because my, yeah. my mum's read them, so I know how big they are. So I, I can only go on by what they release on TV or movie. So I, I'm, in, a, in a way, I'm lucky if I want to enjoy Doom Part 1 and 2 and 3, if there's going to be a 3. Um, then I guess I'm lucky that I don't have issues with the book because I I haven't read the book, so I can enjoy the 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 latest round of Doom movies as a separate thing. Um, but Mercer, I'm very sorry to hear that you didn't enjoy it because I, I love I love them both. Yeah, and I'm sorry you didn't enjoy Doom yeah, Part Two. It wasn't the worst movie ever. I'm sure Dune's Italian movie would be good, but sorry, sorry, I, I, I wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen, but I just love the first one so much, and I'm sure that like Dune Messiah might be better because it's gonna be like he's gonna wait till they age up, the actors age up, so he can do Dune Messiah correctly. So I'm sure it'll yeah. be good, but I just I didn't I don't know. There's something off about it, and I wish I could describe it. It just felt Fair a little off. Yeah, good thing you didn't get you can't you didn't get any paper cuts, Mr. President or VP. So that's that's you know that's okay. <laughs> hey, that's true. That's true. There, there is some <laughs> being disabled after all. <laughs> no paper cuts. Apparently, yeah, apparently oh, there's 26 hey, novels. Hey, what the hell? Sorry to interrupt. I remember Jeff's doing. He just changed my tagline to. I have faith in the heart. How dear you, sir? It's Why been like that for know? 10 minutes. I thought you did it. <laughs> okay, so so the the first six uh, Dune novels, I looked this up. So, again, it was Dune, then Dune Messiah, then Children of Dune, God Emperor of Dune, Heretics uh, of Dune, and Chapter House Dune. Those are the first six. God Emperor. Is Bird a yeah. brain in that one? <laughs> uh, he might no, he's not. But uh, they do mention Leto too, the God Emperor. So maybe, maybe he named himself after the God Emperor Leto too. I don't know. We'll have to ask BOP, BOP of that. Yeah, we'll have to ask him. And I knew what John was saying about the first one. Yeah, I, I actually like the first two, John. The first novel and then the second novel of those I mentioned, I love those two. Those were great descriptive novels. I had no idea there were six books. I thought there was like two. There's like 40,000 Dune books. No, no, no. There's 26 officially. <laughs> but what happened was after the first six, when uh, Frank Herbert was starting to you know, pass away or starting to get ill, his son, Frank Herbert, and... Uh, Kevin J. Anderson, who worked on the Star Wars novels in their early <clears throat> infancy, helped to create an additional dozen novels. But technically, they're saying there's 26. I just looked that up. So I said 40,000. I was pretty close. The 40, yeah, was, yeah. There was give or take six. a little there. There was only yeah, six just, by the just a little. Right, right. That's if we're talking what the movies are based on. They're they're supposed to be based on the original six. By the way, I just submitted a picture of Normal to a cat calendar just now. So wish her luck huh. in a few days. Maybe she'll be posted in a in a cat calendar. Oh, uh, do you get nice. a reward if she is? Do you I, get a reward. Maybe see her in a calendar. I, it doesn't matter if I get a reward. Yeah. I think it's here in a calendar. Right, I hope so. Uh, can I can I be contradictory here, Patrick and Arvik? I did not care for Archer's theme. At the end of uh, episodes and the end credits, 
I didn't care for it at all. It's far from my favorite I, thing. I think it would have been better than Faith of Heart. There's no Voyage. I, it, 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 it just sounds <laughs> too much like Buck Rogers to me. But that was I going to like be the, the original Mirror theme, Universe, wasn't it? Enterprise theme? The Mirror yeah. Universe one from In a Mirror Darkly? Yeah. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I'd, I mean, I'd rather that... have I'd rather have Faith of the Heart than Archer's theme. I'm sorry. I'm there sorry. Go ahead. Song. There was another song that they were going to do for Enterprise that, but I think they couldn't get the rights to it. But I'm saying before they even decided to pick a real song, didn't they? Archer's theme was going to be the theme, right? That was that that's, was normally it would have been. Yeah, yeah. it was going to be that. that they should have used first yeah. contact theme. They should have used first contact theme. Well, they did that in uh, in Picard, but then they have to pay Jerry Goldsmith for that one, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, you, if you hate the song, do you like the visuals they use? Oh, real quick, before you... you mean, Picard, Enterprise? The opening yeah. credit Picard theme is actually from the episode The Inner Light, but it's not the main Inner Light theme. It's the music that his son was playing when he before he told him that he wanted to go into music. Yeah. That's the main oh. theme for Picard in the opening credits. And then in the third season, for the closing credits, they used the first contact theme. Sorry, I had to get that out of my off my chest. Sorry, what was your it's question? It's okay. Like the visuals they use in Enterprise's opening. Do you like those? I, I do. I, I think it's yeah, clever. I think the visuals are good. I just don't like the music. Yeah. I actually think it fits the the era that it takes place in. Yeah, the progression is, is nice. Of the uh, of space. And I mean the music when I say that. The music fits... <laughs> Well, listen to you falling over that shell. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> We're well, critiquing it. We're critiquing it. It's not like fawning over. Come on. <laughs> well, oh, I, man. It's Steve, Mr. VP, uh, MVP, uh, Steve's uh, under title there. Uh, have faith in the heart. <laughs> I like that. Uh, no, I, I saw Rod Stewart in concert with one of my sisters, and he played that song. And I thought, yeah, well, he was the one that originally wrote it. Right? Well, N Diane Warren wrote it, but wrote it for him. So Rod Stewart originally sang it. But then when I heard it again on Enterprise, I knew that wasn't Rod singing. I knew that was somebody else that was singing a part of it. But I thought he did an okay job. So to be fair, you know. Yeah. Speaking of an okay job, I think I'm going to bed. Okay, so. okay, Patrick. This it's is the picture I submitted for the calendar. Starting to get light out, so. Uh. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, you better get some sleep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Patrick. Take, take, take care, Patrick. Patrick. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks for Thanks joining again, us, John, for uh, all the questions. Patrick. And uh, this is the picture I, I submitted to the calendar just a few minutes ago. Hopefully. Oh, beautiful! Yeah. Use it. That's a very cool. good picture. Oh, that that's nice. Picture. Yeah, that's I love good. it. Hopefully, that's you should the calendar. That would be awesome, right? Wish your luck. Does Normal have green eyes, Mercer? Yes. Oh, beautiful. We no, have to no, pull the no, those are purple. Those are purple. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we we wish her luck is, uh, hopefully she'll get another calendar. I don't care if I get paid. I would just love to see her published. That would be really awesome. That would be yeah. really awesome. Both Indeed. both our cats, both our cats, uh Moon Pie has the yellow, the bright yellow eyes. But like Suzanne, my wife, who has green eyes, the other one, Deja Vu, has the green eyes, like oh, like normal does. Nice. Uh, nice. Yeah. Very but, nice. Okay. Um, hey, guys, have a nice uh, evening. And, uh, okay. Good night, Patrick. Get, get some uh, rest, Patrick. Good night, Patrick. Yes. Yeah, I, I, like I think it. I'll yeah. need it if, uh, if I want to see a question of Trek uh, later today. <laughs> right. Bye, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> I I don't like the oh, edX. Yes. Gonna... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, um, MVP. Go no, ahead, Sid. I, I think I inter interrupted someone. Sorry. Who was speaking? Oh, no, you didn't. No, go ahead, Steve. I love your headline. Oh, yeah, that was... <laughs> <Steve. laughs> oh, I know, I, I love that, too. I did. I love his faith in the heart. You know, There's hope for you yet, Steve. Sinbun would never you, do this you, to you. You're turning the corner, Mr. Vice President. I'm proud of you. 
Yay. <laughs> and and no I love your, your Discord server, no. Mr. VP. It's full of enterprise uh, GIFs. Oh, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> and imagery that's and great. references. Uh, it's great. Yeah. I really love it. Yeah, that's awesome. That's, awesome. that's why you created it, right? Guys, a bunch of I know bullies. That you guys have been I'm polluting it big time. <laughs> I'm polluting it. In all seriousness, I've got a serious question now about a completely different franchise. <laughs> now, uh -oh. without any spoilers of both versions, I'm trying, I'm because I've watched two episodes of the Halo TV series. Um, but before I go on watching that one. Without any spoilers, I do have a question. Uh, if if any of you played played the Halo game, the, or I believe there's more than one Halo computer games, and have any of you watched any of the Halo TV series? And if you have, then I've got a question for you, but no spoilers. But, um, uh, thanks for that. Thanks for the channel link there, John. I, uh, <laughs> I'm curious. I subscribe to the channel. <laughs> we'll see what happens. It's on the right network, though, Mr. VP. I'll tell you that much. No, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're, you're um, really you're such a wild company, man. Aren't you? Aren't you? Uh, Thirty Jeff? day free trial. Thirty day free trial. Right. Yep. Yep. Nine ninety five okay. a month, right? Exciting and gritty yeah. is the yeah. Uh, yeah. is the talking point. Material. Well, groundbreaking is for is for Strange New Worlds. Yes. Smash hit is for uh, we were supposed to use that one for Discovery. Exciting uh -huh. and gritty is the one we're supposed to use for Halo. So there you go. Sorry. I never yeah. had it. I never had a crap box. Yet? So. <laughs> you guys watch? Yeah, I never played Halo. Halo. No, Halo. I'm not into Halo. No, no. Or I played Halo. Halo. Fallout. Yeah, Eric actually played the game. Oh, sorry, Jeff. Did you say you did play it, or you never played? I, it? I was horrible at it, but I have played Halo. Okay. Well, not so, all of us could be as a great gamer as Cinnabon is. So, yeah. So, yeah. I think that's why he fails so much, right? Yeah. Right, go ahead, Mr. VP. Sorry. So, so you guys have played the game, or at least been exposed to it. Um, have you have you also watched any of the Halo TV series or the streaming series? I should say I don't know if it's broadcast anywhere. Um, I have not oh, seen it. Huh. Okay, so Me both either. of you have played the game and not watched the series, so that mm. might make it make it the question difficult. But in the well, I'm gonna give a. I've watched two episodes. I'm going to give a countdown to any of the vo of audience that wants to avoid spoilers. Okay, so I'm going to discuss the Halo series. If you want to close the tab on your browser, you have until I reach zero. 10, 9, 8, 12, 7, 4, 6, 17, 47. 47. You Don't forget 47. Your attempts to try and derail me didn't work, Jimmy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. Um, from, the two, from the two episodes of season one I watched, it looks like they're portraying the, the most of the most of the human military, most of the UN SC or whatever it's called is a feeling uh, 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 uh. evil. Minutes. Hang on, sorry, what, what was that? Go, go ahead, Miss Fifi. Go ahead. No, no, go um, ahead, Miss Fifi. I was just commenting to Planet X. No big deal. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So, so I've watched two episodes. It seems like the main human military is, is portrayed as fairly evil. The Covenant's not exactly good either. Um, that's one of the alien races the the human military fight. But it looks like um, Master Chief 
is, is got a conscience and is trying to be good. Would you say that in the games, would you say that in, yeah, in the games, the human military is, is pretty much portrayed as a good organization in the covenant eagle organization? Or would you say that the, in the games, the human military is um, portrayed as evil as well? Is my question. So those of you who played the game might be able to answer. I think Jeff would be able to answer that because I've never did, played Halo. Did you understand the question, Jeff? Uh, I'm sorry. I actually stepped away for a minute. I didn't hear the oh. question. You uh, I'm, I'm, so wow. Wow. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You were talking about you were talking about the human squads that make up the Halo squad. Was were they more of a goon squad or were they more of a well, right? not the not, not the Master Chief squad. In in the in the T V series they seem to be betraying the human military is a pretty evil organization and underhanded. Um the Covenant seems to also be evil, and it seems like in the TV series, Master, Master Chief and a sweet few others seem to be moral moral people. Now, in the game, uh, is the human military as a whole um, portrayed as good and the Covenant portrayed as bad, or in the game is the human military... Portrayed as fairly shady as well, um, is my question to both to both Jeff and Arabic. Arabic. Did you step away again, Jeff? No, no, I, I'm <laughs> contemplating how to answer the question. Okay, I don't know. What's um, the question. I, 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 I would say they were generally portrayed as good in the game it's been several years since i've played it and i didn't play it very much to be honest but okay um i mean i didn't play through the entire game okay Every, um, okay i'll ask you but did you understand the question and um would you say the portrayal of um the un sc in the TV series, is is the same as the game, or would you say the portray um, switch around the the morals between the game and the TV show? I wait for the because typing takes a lot, a lot longer than talking. <laughs> Probably typing uh, now that way. I, I do agree with Arabic that Janeway did nothing wrong. Well, she made I a second judgment that emotion. You know, you you know, just made a judgment call on two weeks. You were just deluded, Jeff. That's why you like Enterprise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. <laughs> if I'm deluded, then everybody else pretty much on the panel is deluded. Well, yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> go on. Wow. 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 I'm delivered. Come on now. Wow, wow. Wow. No, you missed just what I mean. I mean, that's true. Maybe Backtrack. Backtrack. Yeah. yeah, reverse that. Rewind. <laughs> rewind back on this uh, stream and uh, what, what, what I mean, rephrase what your I mean. rephrase your words correctly, Steve. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Eric is a game I haven't watched the show, but I can see on the TV show put in more detail. Yeah. Even though you yeah. haven't watched, even though you haven't watched the show, what I'm really interested in is in the game was the was the us un sc which stands for united nations space command which is like the human military um would you say that in the game they were portrayed as the good guys the bad guys or somewhere in between 
for the game. Don't worry about the TV show. Um, I'll, I'll let you um, type out your answer. And, and as for the leading linking enterprise to thinking Jane Wynn did nothing wrong, that is a bit harsh. You're way more deluded than, than enterprise lovers if you think Jane Wynn did nothing wrong. Because as, as, as my esteemed president will tell you, <laughs> that there's plenty of uh, occasions where Janeway committed um, criminal offences and should have been executed, quite frankly. Oh, okay, That's well, debatable. well yeah. okay, let's, let's try to clarify something, okay? We all know that, you know, Tuvix was created by an accident in the transporter, right? And they merged them together. Okay, yeah. so it actually created a brand new species, but then she realized, wait a second, that I don't have Tuvok anymore, and I don't have Neelix anymore uh, yeah, on so the crew, so, well, no, I'm just saying, so she said she realized that two of her best friends basically are not going to be on the crew anymore, this new Tuvix person is, which is a combination of the two, so for her yeah. to do what she did, she made a judgment call. I mean, was it the right call or was it the wrong one? That's my question. It was, it was a straight up murder because at that point, two Vox <laughs> two Vok and two and Neelix were dead. And, so right, dead. and I get it, Steve, because that's what you're saying. Hey, were they? Up were they? I'm just saying, what were they? That's the thing. I'm I'm trying to determine it myself. I don't so think she cares there. about Neelix. So, yeah. so. <laughs> well. <laughs> Mr. Right. VP, so right. Arabic came back and he said they were just portrayed as your side. And in order to win the game, you were part of Earth. So Earth was That's your right. side. And I, I don't think he's saying either that they were good or bad. Right. Okay. Wait, so yeah. they're the United Nations in space? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So then they're useless. <laughs> well, you have a point. You have a point. Oh, I like it. Um, okay, I'm <laughs> I like Oh, I didn't say uh, that. Fair, fair oh, you didn't say that? Oh, yeah, Thomas yeah. said that. Okay. So they, yes, they Thomas were, said that. So they were morally, they were morally neutral, I guess. But okay. I, I guess, I guess, if it didn't explicitly say, then by default they were the good guys, and you were playing it. Is the good guys versus the bad guys the government? In which case, I don't think I want to watch Halo the series anymore because I don't want the good guys to be transformed into the bad guys, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, my understanding. Generally, my generally. Under sorry. Go ahead, Jeff. Generally speaking, when you play a video game, not always, but generally speaking, most of the time, you are playing for the good guys. Now there could yeah, be yeah, that, more, morally yeah. uh, ambiguous or even bad people on your side, but generally speaking, your side is portrayed as the good side. And that's yeah, kind of what I got out of the game from what I have played of it. Now, maybe I haven't played enough of it to have a good grasp on it, but that's kind of what I got that you're on the side of good. Yeah. So in that case, I was going to try and watch Halo as a, because I've never seen the game. I was going to do a similar approach to, um, to strange new worlds and just pretend. Yeah, that's fair enough. Everybody too. You can choose. Yeah. But, you can but, choose but, your own. But, but if, if they've switched sides between the game, if they've changed the moral compass between the game and the TV show, then there's no point watching it. It's an abomination of the original. So I'm not going to watch it. Now, on Call of Duty, you can always tell the person you're working for is going to become evil. Okay. It's like every game. Last time I bought one, and this general like, well, he's good. I'm pretty sure I have to kill him at the end, and sure enough. Okay. Well, but, I'll, I'll uh, tell you something, Steve. Steve, I can understand why, you know, some of your distaste for Enterprise, uh, you know, 
uh, is warranted. I understand. But I got to yeah. tell you, for, for in regards to myself, after I'd seen the last episode of Enterprise, you know, Bacala and the, and the group, uh, you know, like I said, I did give New Trek a chance. I tried Discovery. That didn't work. I tried yeah. Picard. That didn't work. Trying bad tried the world. That didn't work. So I'm just saying it. I think it applies to each person's individual taste. And for me, I yeah, think yeah. that it stopped after after Enterprise. So <laughs> I'm I'm preferable I, I, to others. I do like Prodigy. Okay, well, that's your your prefer preferred choice there, uh, Jeff. Then that's fine. But I'm just saying, for me, I just I tried different series because everybody kept recommending them. I said, okay, I'll try, you know, a little snippet here, a little snippet there, check them out, see what's going on. And I just can't see that they're coming even close to what I saw, you know, with Enterprise. With the that's the last uh, to me, that's the last great series I saw, other than to Star Trek Continues, of course, which is non-canon. But you know, that's to, separate for me. The the only new track that comes even close is Prodigy. Is Prodigy. Lower Decks. <laughs> lower, lower Decks is not Star Trek. Um, it just yes, it not, I mean I mean it has the look of Trek. It has the sound effects of Trek. It um has the you know the the organizations and in, in the species of Trek, but it's not a Federation starship. I mean, it's, it just can't be. That crew is just too stupid too, um, to, be a, to be a Federation crew. Or, or just too irritating. <laughs> they couldn't uh, fly the ship crew. they wanted. Yeah. Yet it, a bunch it, of people that's yet Prodigy, they um, put that crew in charge of the ship, too. They found the ship. And they learned how... To become more like Starfleet officers. I'm not saying they are to that level yet, but yeah, but the lower uh, decks people, surprisingly, they went to the academy and graduated. And it's unrealistic. They're stupid. They're dumb. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Arabic. I will. Uh, uh, so tell us is doing with you. Destiny. Okay. And yeah, Prodigy chose the right person. Things as Captain Janeway, to model their behavior after. She's a noted and... Oh, exactly. Oh, exactly. Thank okay. you. So they, they picked Thank the you. right captain. Of all the captains yeah, in the database, they, like the they picked the right one. They so who are they? The well, so who's she did blow up somebody? the Borg homeworld. <laughs> well, they just kill... Janeway doesn't kill everybody. She kills eco-terrorists like the Malon, right? They were destroying the, the, the environment. She'll blow take them out up. The garbage. Take out the garbage. <laughs> right? I love that. I love that episode. Yeah. So she's racist towards Malons. She's racist towards Malons because they're eco they're uh it's green. It's not green. They're you so know what I mean? She's the left wing extremist then. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Yay. Exactly. That's there what's happening. Go. Take out the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Time to take out the garbage. <laughs> and then of course she tells and then of course she tells the Gretham captain played by the guy who says dumbass on the seventy on that seventies show. Mm -hmm. Herwood Smith, he says, Time's up. <laughs> Blows well, up he he off. deserved Time's to go. Up. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah he didn't die. Yeah. Well, it no, reset. He, Everything yeah. reset, reset, right? Yeah. Yeah. She was able to reset the entire year and yeah, which is why they put it into two parts. <laughs> yeah. And two that's not corrected. really a person. I mean, it's a person, but it's not really a, it's a science experiment. You can't count that as murder. It doesn't it's oh, not really I think to differ. Well, no, it's an accidental experiment that happened between Tuvok and Neelix. But like I said, my moral question was, did she make the right decision? Of course. Because Yes, she did. Okay. Okay. What about with what about Archer with Sim and Enterprise? Well, Sim right. was going to die anyway. That's how they got around that one. Because oh, Sim had okay. a life expectancy that that was going to it, it was going to die anyway, sooner or later, quickly. Yeah, but yeah. didn't he figure something out that they could try? Possibly. They didn't. They didn't concretely have that treatment. It was it was experimental at best. What so, and what about what about the Borg uh, Hugh? 
was that what about right? you well what was the was that the right decision to send him back into the collective well admiral admiral Nechev didn't think so yeah okay and and that and, that, and that's an interesting question do you, do you think they should have given Hugh that invasive program I don't no, see how a I, picture could destroy the Borg anyway. Showing them a picture, no. I, don't, I don't. I just don't see how that could. You know what? I would have just. Them. I would have just disconnected him. If you agree with me, Omni, I would have just disconnected him from the collective entirely, and just taken his knowledge of what he remembered from them, and they could have just as well used that. You know, besides using Picard's strategy, you know, at the beginning of uh, First Contact, you know, where they blow up, you know, because of a non-functional system or a non. You know, integrated system of the board sphere. You know, Hugh wanted to join the crew. He he wanted to be with his friend Jordy. I know and, he did, but but he sacrificed that because he knew that the Borg would never stop coming for him and for the and for the Enterprise. And he put his friends in danger. So wow. he 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 chose to go back, which is and actually an interesting story. Yeah, and and, and um, but I, I still don't understand how how the Forge's program of a picture was going to destroy the Borg. If you have any thoughts on that, because it, it, it just sounds so convoluted. I'm going to show this Borg this picture, which can't exist in real life, and somehow the whole Borg are going to be demolished based on, on a picture. It's, <laughs> like, it's like looking at, it's like when you Google the um, Tesseract gift, not the Tesseract from uh, um, Marvel, but just the Tesseract in general, where it's a cube that constantly, like, Turns itself inside out. Yeah, it's like a fourth dimension kind of thing. It, yeah, it, it makes no sense. Four D cube. It, they yeah. probably were trying to go for something like that, where it's a picture that doesn't make any logical sense, uh, kind of thing. But it kind of neuters the Borg. The Borg was supposed to be this really powerful the, species. The, the thing. It's about. It's not about like what the picture is. It's about like what what it means to the to the story and the characters. If they could hypothetically come up with something, whether it's a picture or or a sound effect, whatever. So if they, it, the idea is, is it right to do it? It's not whether what what what, what the writers came up with in actuality. It's the idea is if something could destroy the Borg if they put it in the system. Doesn't matter what it is. The story is, and this is what we were talking about last week when we were talking about uh, um, Darmok. It's not about like whether they can communicate with analogies. I mean, I always had the feeling that they communicate with each other differently, but the universal translator, that when they're trying to talk to us or to the Federation, they, they use allegories. Um, the point is, the story is not about how they actually communicate. The story is not about what the picture is of. The story is about... What does it mean? Can are they if they were to uh, in, give the Borg something that could destroy the collective? Is it right to do it? That's the right. story. So That's let's call it a, a virus then, a neurovirus or right. some kind it of manufactured exactly. thing. It could be Fine. anything. It could be anything. It's <clears throat> what is the, the story that the Raiders are getting? To All right, is more important than got the it. All right, All right. So forget the picture. Let's say it's a neurovirus, a nanoprobe virus, whatever. Okay, fine. Should the question is, should they have still given it to Hugh? Right, that's the question. That's all right. I'm, fine. I'm not giving an answer, I don't know what I think, but that's the, the argument I'm making is that the uh, same with the Dharmic episode we were talking about last week. It, the, the story is, um, what if we can't relate to how they think? That's not it's whether they communicate in allegories or not, you know. Um, that's the question. It's all right, all right. So no, I, I get it. I'm going to try to, I guess, answer it a little bit from my perspective. I think then the Cheyev was right that, that Picard should have taken the opportunity to destroy the Borg at that point. I mean, Janeway took every opportunity to destroy the Borg. Well, right? it I took mean, her a while. <laughs> you don't forget. So, yeah, I mean, it took her years before her future self came up with the idea of a neurolytic pathogen, you know, a, a virus. Mm-hmm. I mean, it took her years. We're talking like an additional, what was it, 12 years, something like that? Well, again, it's just about the mission. To, you know, to the, John, what, what were you saying? I'm sorry. I was saying, you said Jane, we took every chance to wipe out the Borg. I said, and everybody else she came across, too. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> not everybody. Oh, not way, everybody. Oh. Most of them. John, you're sharp tonight. Most, By the way, I gotta tell you. Most of them. Yeah. You're right, John. You're she right. tried very hard to uphold the prime directive, and you know it. Oh, you know it. John, so, okay. so, so, I'm with you, Omni. I completely agree. Captain Ransom went the wrong. Yeah, right. he went the wrong yeah. way. That's the way you don't go. 
You know, so Janeway took... used a biological weapon to wipe out an entire species. <laughs> she did. Uh, I or think she taunted the weapon. Prime Directive. We know that Kirk blatantly broke it. So even the Time Police told Cisco as much that uh, Kirk had the most infractions for breaking time. Yeah, but w- w- which weapon are you talking about? I don't see Thomas. The virus in um, Endgame. Oh, in Endgame. Endgame. But yeah. Th- you you could justify it. You can justify that because the, the, the Federation's at a, in a state of war with the Borg. Yeah, but it's uh-huh. been proven that they're able to free Borg from the Collective. She couldn't come up with an idea to re- free all the Borg from the Collective. Was she that Unimatrix Zero? That was Unimatrix Zero, that, though, right? Yeah, they tried that in well, Unimatrix was... Zero, but it didn't quite work. Well, yeah, yeah. Even but though that, it almost succeeded. Yeah, those Borg were special. Them. No, what I'm saying, those Borgs are special, yeah, though. That's true. What I'm yeah. saying, you couldn't come up with an idea to free every co- drone. Because mm-hmm. it's all yeah, the, I, I guess the they never time. could. Well, that's the thing. It, they tried a few times, but it, it never came to pass, Thomas. So. Well, it did with Simon, Simon and Picard. Uh-huh. It came to pass with them. I, I agree yeah, with but, Thomas. What was the, it? The, those are two drones those are just two drones you're, you're, talk, talking, you're about talking billions drones. of drones oh, that you're trying to yeah win. well you had chakotay's colony you had those people right yeah right yeah and then you had the each and the and the, and the kids and the kids yeah you had the three that tried to kill seven those three that uh were that mental link that seven set up yeah, yeah but that, non-murdering captain would try to figure out how to liberate them all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I see what you're saying. I, I guess, to quote uh, Major Kira, nothing justifies genocide. <laughs> right. Yeah, good quote by Kira. But then I'm sure Captain Jay will respond, <laughs> but you call it work. genocide, I call it a day's You call work. genocide, I call it <laughs> call a day's work. I call it genocide, <laughs> you call it genocide, right? Sure. <laughs> Maybe it's Maritza who's dead. Hang on, Maritza, hang on. Who stood there in the corner weeping like a woman. That little bug. <laughs> oh, don't get me started on what somebody thought Maritza's a villain. Oh no. Hmm. Mr. VP, you were saying? Um I was gonna say something about in the same way. I'm just gonna remember what. I'm sorry, who? Yeah. I think he said Janeway. I I, 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 I don't know who that is. A highly decorated (laughs) officer of the line. Well, you do know that in Germany, a lot of generals were highly decorated. Exactly. Exactly. I guess they were all good people. And 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 in Nemesis. Goldar Heel was highly decorated. Goldar Heel, the butcher of Galatep. Yes. Yes. Well, here's a question I had. Um, the fact that when uh, in the beginning of Nemesis, when Admiral Janeway contacts Picard, and of course that rhyme where she said, you get all the prime assignments, the Sona, you know, the Borg, the Sona, the uh, you know, the Romulans, you know, you get all the prime missions. I mean, the woman just saved the Delta Quadrant and is saying that Picard did more than she did. I did have a problem with that. I'm just I, saying. I believe she said you got all the easy assignments. She's being oh, easy sarcastic. Assignment? Yeah, sarcastic. Being sarcastic. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> she did more than he did. Yeah, I guess oh, she was. Thomas got Thomas got an example of sarcasm. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe there's hope for you after all, Thomas. <laughs> yeah. I have a problem with with um, Janeway being promoted to Admiral instead of. Walked away for years in handcuffs, but there you go. <laughs> I'm sure John would completely agree with you, man, wouldn't you? Mr. Oh, come Steve? on. I concur with the good vice president. Oh, Thank wow. I yeah, there we go. To, I can't believe that. To, I, 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 part of your administration, really. Is. So the, I, I'm I mean, going to ask the question again. Where is, where's Captain Ransom on this scale then? I mean, where, where do you put him? Uh, Oh, Ransom Ransom was was terrible. Just as I mean, because you, you're making it sound like Janeway was like him. Janeway was like him. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Oh, no, she kept no, up no. a Starfleet ship against all that the odds. She see. kept the prime directive. She kept the Starfleet she, ideals, the Federation ideals. She tried to respect other people's space from time to time. 
She tried. She I mean, you know, she she she, she kept the prime directive. Oh. She Where was, possible, she didn't break it. She oh, she different. bent it. She said she bent it a little bit. But she, and we know her opinion about the temporal prime directive. To hell with it. To hell with the temporal. That, that that she doesn't care about. She never signed up for that. Yeah. Well, the moment she put the uniform on, she did. Well, there is no temporal. Is there a temporal prime directive? I mean, or is it a future thing? Isn't that like a future thing? Well, that the relativity we, how goes she by. Know about it. Yeah. Oh, she, you know. What, they they uh, know to respect the timeline. At, at that point, but yeah. So, so John, the temporal directive really just deals with time and space, right? Disruption of that or non-disruption? Well, yeah, it's basically not a changes with past. Right. Changes, changes to the timeline. Right. It's almost like the prime directive, except it's time instead of time. Just, you know, yeah, you don't mess with, with time. societies. Hmm. And. Right, and we know that uh, Kirk did that in Star Trek Four. <laughs> uh, so, it wasn't written yet, so. Right. Well, I'm saying that's just an early version of it, and he did it only to save Earth, you know. But when they ended up back at Earth on assignment Earth, you know, with Gary Seven, that was unintentional too, you know. But what about early Janeway? Let's go back to season one of Voyager. I mean, they really made a point. To show her desperately trying to keep the prime directive, yes. not interfering with the Kazon, and the, yes. and the... Yes. what she yes. did in season, yes. in season uh, one, she was written well, but as the series progressed, she, the character began more and more inconsistent. One week, the prime directive was sacred, the next week, hmm. it was a it was a minor inconvenience <laughs> that she didn't give a damn about. We're crossing well, your space, whether you like it or not. Here we come. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, and don't, forget in Caretaker, yeah, don't forget in Caretaker that Janeway did have an opportunity to get back to the Alpha Quadrant. She had but, an opportunity. But, but at the expense of the Ocampa, the Ocampa would be destroyed if she I had. understand. But wouldn't saving the Ocampa violate the Prime Directive also? That's exactly yes, what I was it would have. Yeah, but well, their presence sense, there... Sure. But their presence there had already in, inter had already altered the events in that region. If they if they would have just hightailed it back to the Alpha Quadrant, their just mere presence of preserving that station would have left it vulnerable. Ocampo vulnerable. Yeah, but it would have been vulnerable yeah. anyway. All right, well, let's make it real simple. Caretaker set the station to auto destruct. Right. The only way to get back to the Alpha Quadrant was to stop the auto destruct, use the machinery. And send Voyager back. If they did that, then the station would be inhabited by the Kazon. The Kazon would have destroyed the Ocampa, and because of that, the Voyager would have been responsible for the destruction. Or they could just put a timer detonator yeah. on a couple of torpedoes. But what if it didn't go off? You don't know that. What, what, what if they stopped it at the last minute? What if it failed? What, they they would never know. Do you remember the Kazon damage, the self destruct thing? The Kazon damage, the self destruct thing. So. That could have still happened even if Voyager wasn't there. Yeah. They could have just argue. Themselves. Yeah. Yeah, the Kazon collided with the station while they were fighting Voyager. That's what, exactly. Say, so but if Voyager had gone back, maybe this the self destruct would have gone off without a hitch. True. Probably. But, but the caretaker didn't have enough time to send them back. They, the um, caretaker they stranded know. Voyager out there for the most part. I mean, that, that's really what happened. But they needed to fire a full spread of torpedoes because we're doing full spread of torpedoes night tonight. <laughs> full, <aren't spread. laughs> full spread. Full yeah. spread. Boom, 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 boom. You know, after that video, I can't watch Star Trek the same again. Every time I hear full spread, it's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to see it. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I never all, heard it that much. <laughs> but we all know that Voyager went to the Delta Quadrant as part of the Federation takeover of the Delta Quadrant. That's what Seven of Nine said. She just, she was on to something. She was why else something. would they have well, those weapons on that ship? Tri-cobalt never, devices. Never yes. heard from them before or since. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And the Maquis apparently were doing stuff too, so, you know, apparently it's a... Thomas, Thomas is drinking the, the Kool-Aid again. Here's <laughs> <laughs> T-Series left. Here's T-Series <laughs> to the right. What he's probably yeah. saying is that Jane, we had an ulterior motive, and their whole intention in the first place was to put a foothold in the Delta Quadrant. It yeah, just okay. a series of circumstances that led to this right. uh, in, 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 inevitability. It just wasn't clear enough. Maybe if they would have written Caretaker a little bit better 
And so listen, I if agree. you go, if you go back home without any doubt, this this civilization will be destroyed. Like and, and it was kind of mu- it was muddy. You're right. It was mixed up with the station and the self destruct and the caretaker turning into a rock and it, it was kind of muddled. They should have made it more clear. If you oh, leave, and that they're dead. Farm girl that beat up Paris. Remember that holographic farm girl? Oh was yeah, like, with the pitchfork. Beat up Paris by yeah. herself. Hmm. And of course, don't forget right on me. And I mean, don't forget the most important thing. If they What's didn't that? do, if they did go back before and all that, we have no series. So <laughs> no, no, I, I know it's just, it's just that initial that initial decision was not wanted to say something. Huh? What? Huh? Mr. VP. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah. So, has anyone actually addressed? Because I, I was briefly away, putting myself up in the chair again. Did anyone address poor Arabic's question? Is, is that a question? Oh, up here? yeah, about uh, Janice Lester and Kirk. Well, I have to think that was. No, 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 no. I think that's from a different episode. Oh no, he's talking about the. Enemy within. Is anyone yeah. that? Oh, 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 right, right, right. Sorry, because, sorry. Right. Uh, Transport, I, transporter accident, and it took his uh, good side and his dark side. Right, separated. Yeah. The way yeah. I, the way I understood that is they needed each other to continue to live. To survive. So they, yeah. so they had yeah. to combine them back. Right. That's what I was going to say. It's a different situation. So. Yeah, that was no, a different I situation. No, I Neither one of them was murdered when they reinstated you. Um, now, I can say what I like about Picard season one is the aliens or prime factor were assimilated. Yeah. I, those people were pricks. They got what they <laughs> wait, wait, Which ones? Uh, the prime factors, they were the um, one with that like, teleportation pad. Oh, yes. The, the um... like, arrogant pricks. With, 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 right with the space folding to trajector thing, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah they got assimilated, so they, they, they did get assimilated. They, You're right, they deserved. Yeah, and, uh, got assimilated. Well, you know what I thought was, uh, Steve. Now that you mentioned it, you remember in Mirror Mirror when the you know the four of them, uh, Yahura and Doctor McCoy and 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 Scotty and Kirk. They were, you know, transported to, you know, regular, uh, you know, the regular Enterprise. And it's almost like Spock knew right away that they weren't the right, you know, four that left originally. So he had them, you know, put into a holding cell. Whereas, you know, in the other mirror universe there, uh, you know, the other four came on board and they saluted him immediately. They didn't even know that they weren't the right four, you know, that were in the mirror universe. So... That's interesting too. I mean, that just kind of you know boggled my mind back then. When I saw it. Oh, well, it should be easy to tell when Kirk is starting to scream in and racist things at you that you know this. Maybe this yeah. is my Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was exactly. said it was much easier for you as civilized men. In trying to break right. you want power, Spock. I can get that for you. Hey, that wasn't bad, Mr. VP. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was yeah, pretty that good. Yeah, that was pretty good, Steve. I like <laughs> that. Credits? Command of your own? I could swing that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love the moment episode. It's my favorite episode of Trick in all time. All time man. Um, He's still working on his Archer imitation. He is? <laughs> oh, okay. Because I thought that uh, because he loves oh, Archer. Well, he, I thought that he steady. could play. Well, no, because of his accent, I thought he could play Malcolm Reed better. He could play Malcolm Reed. I'm sure everybody's excited that we get to see the defined, apparently, in the next strange. Is that the big episode. thing? Is that the big oh, thing? Though? That's that's apparently. what I've heard. Oh wow, Mr. Uh, VP. Um. Um. What was I going to say? I hate it when I'm sure. Is that you um, love Enterprise? Yeah, no, you love no. Enterprise now? Oh, yeah, oh, you're, you're working on your trouble. Archer imitation. I've got yeah. it. We need to, I've got it. So all I have to do to do a very good Archer imitation <laughs> is, to, is to play a naive, bumbling 
Oh, <laughs> yep. oh no. Subspace interference. Echo 2 Subspace is malfunctioning. <laughs> you know, Mr. VP, Cinnabon would never do this to you. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. I have to get to Cinnabon's channel more often. Um, <laughs> yeah. Come on, Steve. You know we love hey, you. Uh, Come on. I know, but hang on. Let me speak. Let me speak. Because I had to. I had to wait for everyone to stop talking and finally give my answer, and then I was cut off. So. Let me speak. <laughs> so, so all I would have to, because I'm not sure if you heard it before I was cut off. All I would have to do. Just play an absolute bumbling naive fool, because that's what Archie was. Even Indy Tiger said he was very naive, and he thought that everyone in space was friendly bef before the Cindy attack. And so all I have to do is play a very b naive bumbling fool, and I've got an Archer down pat. I think that's a serious yeah. mischaracterization of Archer. Well, he was also I one of the best, Indy, best captains out Indy, there. Indy, Indy, Indy Tiger is not here, but I know he would agree. Plus, I think I paid you a great compliment there, uh, Steve. That you could you could play Malcolm Reed's character easily. You could just slip into I don't, I don't his play, I don't want to play that twerp. <laughs> oh, I didn't wow. know that. Wow, I'm sorry you didn't like him. Okay. He's a twerp. Uh, He's a twerp. I, I, <laughs> wow. I thought you said I did a good impersonation of Mer Kirk, not Malcolm Reed. Well, I was just trying to say you could play him, but okay. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, um, sorry if I, I, I didn't. Said it out of, I said it out of graciousness. I was. I was trying to be graceful. But I oh. guess I made the wrong choice. Oh, sorry, Mikey. I didn't really want to upset oh, you. Oh no, no, really it's upset. okay, dude. Don't worry yeah. about it. I, I know you. I know you despise Enterprise very much. So I understand totally. Mm -hmm. I don't hate you for that. Come on, we're brothers. Mm -hmm. We we we've been friends for ever since we met. So, I wonder why we have no one from New Zealand in Star Trek. Oh, that's right, because it's a prison. Right, it's a prison. <laughs> no, Ooh. no, Australia was the penal colony, not New Zealand. You guys got to remember that. Well, but Star Trek. In Star yeah, Trek. Trek. Oh, well, Star Trek is... Yeah, not in real life. Yeah. It's fantasy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. Um, New Zealand is never going to live that down. But uh, why was the island it. missing from Star Trek First Contact? I never understood that. Why, why, was, why was your whole country deleted from yeah. the globe? Because a, a lot of people miss of... New Zealand of map, same as they miss off Tasmania, which is a whole whole state of Australia. Isn't, isn't Tasmania an island though? Isn't it like an island between New Zealand well, and, and Australia? No, well, it's not between. Yeah, Tasmania is supposed to be separate. Directly, right it's directly beneath um, Victoria, which is where the city of Melbourne is. Oh, okay. okay. I don't okay. think uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't leave it out. It's just that the view you have, you wouldn't be able to see it. Hmm. Yeah, I, I agree well, with you, Thomas. Yeah, it, it was just the view from where was, I mean, they were staring at it. I mean, come on, you're up in space, and this is a huge, you know. It was just off window. the view. I don't right. know. I don't know. It looks pretty clear to me. <laughs> There's no, no clouds I, in the sky, really. Yeah. No, no, no. No, the, the angle that they were looking down at it, it was just off to the right of what yeah. you could see. Hmm. Yeah, Picard and Lily went. I mean, when he was pointing it out, he's just going, you know, off what his memory was. But he could have missed it. But I, I don't think so because. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. The way of the view. No, what's it, Mikey, they're saying that you couldn't actually visually see it. Right. I know. Because it I wasn't understand. because okay. But it, Errol, it had nothing it had nothing to do with memory and not remembering certain things. I have okay. no idea why I pointed the Solomon Islands. I'm like, who the hell even thinks of that place? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How would Lily know about that? Yeah. We, we well, unless you were, read about some World War we II battles going on in the United States and Japan and the Solomon Islands, maybe? Uh, you know. Yeah, but 
you Mr. live near there, Mr. VP. We we don't. We don't think of those islands. Yeah, you, you, yeah you, we don't be, think about that. You're being American centric, is what the word is. But anyway, yeah, I, I forgive you. Um, <laughs> that, thousands wouldn't, but I forgive you. All right. Um, well, well, well you know, Mr. VP, Mr. VP, when you think of the Great Lakes in in the United States, do you think of Perry Island? No, I think of. Oh, okay. Perry. Can you name the Great Lakes? I, Lake? I, I, I know where Perry Island is. Fair enough. Point taken. <laughs> um, Can you even um, name the Great Lakes? I know some of them. Ah, uh, lakes. Uh, of Lake well, there are Superior. four main ones. Wait, Lake is it Lake Superior? Oh, there, are five. Five. there are five. Okay, five. It's four main ones. One, one of them is not a lake. One sounds them like you're New, New Zealand-centric. Lake, lake Ontario? Is that's good, one? yeah. that's good. You got yeah, two yeah, of them. There you go. You that's got, really yeah. good, actually. Lake Superior is not Wait, a lake. And what was Superior that? is not a lake. Really? According really? to the definition, it's actually an inland sea. It's much bigger than a lake in terms of. It's like the same thing that makes Pluto not a planet. Like it, 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 the it, it, it's called Lake, lake Superior. It is called Lake Superior. It's just uh, Mercer. It's just an oversized lake. Now it is fed in by. It's fed by the Hudson Bay, which is eventually fed in by the Atlantic Ocean, but. It is an oversized. It's a lake. It is defined as a lake. No, it's so defined. It is a lake. Sea. The big difference between an inland sea and a lake. It's just called a lake, colloquially, but it. But it's it's an inland sea according to all definitions. Oh, okay. okay but I, then, I, what would you qualify, Mercer? I'm sorry. I thank you, Mercer. Thank you for educating me. Well, Jeff, right, I have a I'm question for you. you. Thank you, Ron. Well. You're in uh, Texas. A sea, is, a sea okay. is usually okay. salt water, isn't it? No, no, no. Look at this definition. I, su I su superior the, uh, is, is fresh water. It's homes. Yeah. Uh, is in the Caspian Sea fresh water? Lake Erie. That's it. Is it? Well, Jeff, the five lakes. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Jeff, what's with Lake Austin? It looks more like a river. There's no Lake Austin. <laughs> yeah, there in Texas. Oh, in Texas. I gotta, I gotta go oh, in Texas. oh, well, I haven't been that far down there in Texas. It looks just like a river, but they call it Lake Austin. Hmm. On that note, I gotta go to bed, but you guys can keep chatting. Thanks, John, for wonderful, awesome clues. Oh, thanks. Yeah, for playing, great Mercer. clues as always, John. Good job, Mercer. It was fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you, Mercer. Thanks. Thanks for being on the show, Mercer. Yeah, appreciate Thank it. You. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, MVP. Thank you, loser. Oh, is it loser? What does it say? Thomas. He's, you, he's Thomas. Thomas. Okay. He's Thomas. Now, I dare you not to use my identification. So, <laughs> just before you go, Mercer, since I know you have enterprise along with everyone else here, yeah. Would you like to, or would you like to hear? Because I feel bad for my read comment and shops at Mikey, but would. Would you like to hear? There is one Enterprise character I really like. Would you like to hear which one it is? Guess who it is? Can I? Can I guess? Yeah, you Tran? can guess. Is it Tran? No. Tran is no. no. No, sorry, it's not Tran. It's um, Trip Tucker. Oh yeah, he's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trip's a great character. Trip's not a twerp. A great character, Connor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Connor. Trip, is Trip deserves his own show. <laughs> Too bad they right. killed him. Uh, he should team up with the Mandalorian and do adventures together. Maybe we'll yeah, see him in the go. Section Thirty One show. We'll see. You never know. Yeah, oh, maybe. God. Yeah, according to the book, the good that men do, he was he's still alive and he worked was working for Section Thirty One. Hmm. Well, we know that female uh, martial well, arts expert Reed. Michelle Yeoh is in that. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I thought Reed was Section Thirty One, not. Yeah, okay. according to this novel, which is not technically canon, but if you want to call it, that whole thing where he died the uh, in the episode, uh, uh, what was that? The last episode, whatever that was called, voyages. These are the voyages. Yeah, these, these are, are the voyages. voyages. I'm unfamiliar with that episode. Mm. 
he didn't actually die. Mm-hmm. He was working for Section 31, and the whole book was just written to explain it. So anyway, you should read it. It's a good book. I read it a long time ago. Was that episode just um, Archer, Picard, and Kirk doing um, these are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise thing? Yeah, that was at the end. That the was, end. That, that was, was the whole the episode. Very end. That was at the very end of the episode. Mm, that's the only part of the yeah. episode I recognize. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened was is that uh, Riker and Troy came out of the, yeah. the hologram uh, hologram room, and uh, that was supposed to be the events that led up to the end. <laughs> Of 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 you know, Enterprise so. from a hologram and, room, and then so many people just assume that Enterprise is complete simulation. It could yeah. have been. Well, All no. right, guys, have a good night. You guys keep talking. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna good go night, to Mercer. Have a good night, Mercer. Good night, Mer- good night Mercer. Good night, Mercer. Thanks for a great game. I had a lot of fun, and, and the questions were just unreal. They're so good, and especially because there's only one TAS question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, good morning. Next time. Well, oh, see, yeah, now, see what you see started? What you did, yeah, no, Darn it. Now we're, now we're <laughs> for it. Pass. Just jinxed us. Dang it. I know. Sorry. <laughs> Talk to you later. Oh, later. Thank you. Yeah. Care, New Thank category you. for board next week. Yeah, TAS. Me into this panel. A true yeah. fan would know it. <laughs> hey. um, okay. In, qu- in answer to uh, the uh, lakes. Uh, Suzanne confirmed with me. It, if, if you remember the anagram for it is Holmes, H O M E S. So that's Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. They're all the lakes. Okay. That's cool. Holmes. Holmes. Yeah. Easiest Good. way to remember. Two way to remember yeah. it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But yeah. what if you think it's Sherlock Holmes? That's H O L M E S. Oh, that's H O L M E S. Yeah. Thanks, Watson. <laughs> Holmes versus Holmes. Holmes Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Well, Mr. Holmes is only H-O-L-M, and he was the, the Waxana Troy's uh, handyman. I what species that was guy? he, though? Did they ever name his species? No. I don't think so. Okay. No, they didn't. But I knew the actor. His name was Carol Striken. And then he he died, so hmm. yeah, that was his name. It was spelled S T R U C K Y, yeah, E N, yeah, striking. C R U C K Y Y E N, yeah, Carol Striking. C A R E L was his first name. Yeah, he played that big guy, Mister Holmes. Yeah, it's because of his. Um, because I got that they have that disease. It's the same thing that um, can, uh, you know, hurt dwarves. You know, like their dwarfism and stuff. Something to do with the pituitary gland. Hmm. Well, this has been a great chat, but um, it's getting kind of late here, so I'm thinking maybe it's time to start uh, winding down for this evening. Okay. Cool, John. Sounds good. And just to confirm, Professor, you're doing a question trick tomorrow? Yes. Yes. At 11 Uh, a.m. Eastern. And and, uh, Jeff, did you say that uh, Conti chooses the the players, right? If I I asked you politely if I could join you tomorrow, uh, but that's up to him, right? So I can suggest it. Okay. That's all I ask. Okay. Suggestion is fine. Well, we hope to see you at a question of track at 11 a.m. Eastern, and we hope to see you back uh, next week for our next episode of Jeopardy. Be sure to include lots of TIS questions. Oh, oh boy. Oh. I think I feel no. a cold coming on. <sighs> Me too. I might not make it. <laughs> um, 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 <laughs> well, while you're great. Um, it's a great theme song to the series, but yeah, um, that's as far as it goes. <laughs> well, except for the mud episode, though. If you if you ask a question from that, John, I'll get it. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. 
But thanks again, everyone. Sorry about the technical difficulties we had earlier. Um, but thank this. you for your patience. And we look forward to seeing you back here next week. Sounds good. Um, sorry, guys. I just had to um, push myself up in the chair again. But it looks like you're wrapping up. So um, see you all. And hopefully I can come next week. And, and good talking to all of you. Likewise, sir. Hey, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Catch you later. And See you tomorrow. Omni, See you Omni, tomorrow. Take care. Omni, since since I'm I'm watching Strange New Worlds, albeit in a I'm not I'm not acknowledging it's Star Trek, but I'm wondering if I can have a fraction of your uh, paycheck, maybe just just. I mean, uh, we might need to discuss this off stream, so see you later, everyone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>